New Jersey with Jerry Glanville, Kevin Harlan, down to our third member of our crew. We welcome in Pam Oliver. Pam? Hey, Kevin, all you got to do is take one good look at this head, and they'll give you a pretty good idea <laughs> about the windy conditions here today. Winds are gusting at about 15 to 20 miles an hour, although they feel much stronger. I talked to both kickers. They said the most important thing for them to do is just to get a good strike on the ball, not get too wrapped up in the windy conditions. Back to you. Thank you, and Jerry, that could play a huge factor today because both the Giants, as you see Brad DeLuiso, teeing it up second in the NFL in touchbacks, and he'll be kicking deep back to Calvin Martin along with Charlie Garner two real impressive players returning but both these teams Jerry have had kickoff problems this season they really had problems with the entire kicking game in fact uh, uh, Haran the punter for the Giants has only forced two fair catches for the entire season which has to be an all time low so special teams have not done well for these two clubs so far this season Evidence of how the wind is blowing here in the Meadowlands, indicative with the ball just blowing off the tee for DeLuiso. And now he will have one of his players, Willie Beeman, holding it on the kickoff by the Giants. Full house as always. Here we go. The Giants and the Eagles. What a traditional matchup this is. And Calvin Martin lost it, picked up by Gardner, who takes it up the middle and is out to the 26-yard line, where the Eagles will begin things first down and 10. Rodney Pete, USC All-America, went to the Detroit Lions where he was a part-time starter. Backed up Troy Aikman last season, signed as a free agent this past year with the Eagles. And on the line, rookies Barrett Brooks, McIntyre the veteran, McKenzie, Joe Panos in his second year, and Antone Davis, the right tackle. Ricky Waters and McCrary, the running backs. Barnett and Williams, the wide receivers. And 34-year-old Ed West will be the tight end. Three wide receivers for the quarterback, Pete, who on first down and 10 throws a pass out to Ed West, the tight end, who is out to the 30-yard line and brought down by the second leading tackler on the Giants, Michael Brooks. Giants go with a 4-3 base defense. They got Michael Strahan on the outside. Agnew comes from the New England Patriots. Hamilton moves inside, and Robert Harris is the former Minnesota Viking. Buckley starts in place of Corey Miller with Brooks and Kroll on the linebacking slate with Randolph, Glenn, Campbell, and Philippi Sparks in the secondary. Gain of three on the first down. It's second down and seven. And Ricky Waters takes it out to the 34-yard line, brought down by Robert Harris. Waters coming off a career day last week when Jerry, he ran for more yards and caught for more passing yards than at any other time in his career. And that was a simple cutback play not a play and people talk about the West Coast offense the the running game is not like the 49er running game it's a power cutback running attack and it's an eye formation which never happens on the West Coast third down and three and the ball resting at the 34 yard line looks like Rodney Pete is changing the play a little audible here and Pete with that short three step drop gets away has to get to the 40. They get the 37 yard line and he is very close to a first down as Michael Brooks finally brought down Rodney Pete who has replaced Randall Cunningham as the starting quarterback he started the last two games and he has brought home two Philadelphia wins and there's Cunningham who Jerry was the topic of a great deal of conversation this week in the NFL with the possibility of a trade maybe even to Arizona I think uh, people thought there'd be a little more action with him and maybe in the entire league but there was absolutely no trades at the deadline in the whole league and I, I think uh, people are just going to play with what they got for this year. So the Eagles do get the first down as Ray Rhodes and Randall Cunningham and the brain trust for the Philadelphia Eagles watching from the sideline that's Jay Fiedler who is on the headset up top to Gruden, the young 31 year old offensive coordinator for the Eagles. So, first down for Philadelphia on the first drive of the game near the 37 yard line. They've got Fred Barnett in motion and a handoff. The second time goes to Ricky Waters and he's out to the 41 yard line. Dillard and Jesse Campbell there for the Giant defense. And again, that's straight ahead power football. That's a lead play where they're just coming right at the defense. And that's the difference between the Eagles and if you think it's West Coast or 49, the 49ers have a small offensive line. It's traps. It's outside plays where the Eagles will bring it right at you with a big, strong offensive lineman. 
Opening drive of the game, second down and six yards to go from the 41 of Philadelphia, just underway here at the Windy Meadowlands at Giant Stadium. And Pete will test that win. Swings it out to the rookie McCray, who is brought down immediately at the 43-yard line. Hammered by Marcus Buckley, starting today in his first NFL start along with Michael Brooks. And Michael Strahan trying to put pressure on the quarterback. He's the Giants' best pass rusher, but when you bring the ball out on the third step, it's hard to get any pressure on the quarterback. Dan Reeves, and now his third season with the Giants, went for an interesting year a season ago where they had lost seven and won their final six. This year they begin 0-3, and now they've won two of their last three. His defense rears up for a third down and four with no score in the first quarter. Pete with pretty good time looking for a second option and throws the pass to Calvin Williams and they have ruled it a completion and a Philadelphia first down at the 44 with a nice pickup of 13 yards. He beat Jesse Campbell. And that was hard to tell whether the ball bounced or not. Everybody looked around. But the Giants are playing all zone. They passed everything off. Let everybody go up underneath. And then the ball. Nice catch. What a catch. Good call by the officials. Seventh play of the drive. Ricky Waters becomes a receiver at the bottom of your screen. In fact, he's outside the numbers. Charlie Gardner has come back in. And Gardner hurdles a defender, takes it inside the 40, and is down to the 39 of New York, where Michael Brooks made the first whack at him. And audible eyes and again on the running game. So when he sees they, the, the Giants will play an over and under, which means one of the guards is covered and one is not covered by a down lineman. And what he's doing, he's looking down. When he sees a guard that is not covered, there's only a linebacker there, he's audible into the run to what they call the soft spot. The interesting thing about the 24 points they've allowed, they went over 35 quarters in a couple seasons without allowing any opponent to get any points on any initial drive. Second down and five at the 39-yard line. And the handoff goes to Ricky Waters, who takes it inside the 35 and to the 33 and very close to an Eagle first down. He was sprung free by Guy McIntyre. And here's what's different about the Eagles. More formations, more power plays. Here's the tight end. He's going to go in motion, and then they're going to power right off the guard. It's not a sweep. More formations, I'd say, uh, than the... Than the Backside guard pulling up through there, and Ricky Waters cutting up inside. Almost like a little window dressing, a little decoy, huh? I think it's the same plays, but I think it's probably 50% more formations. Here they are again with two tight ends and one tight end off the ball. First down and 10 for Pete, going to the air again and hesitating. Had time, and now he runs. He's got to get inside the 25, and he fumbles the ball, and it's loose. And out of bounds it goes without a clear possession by the Eagle that was chasing it. And that was Raleigh McKenzie, but it is Philadelphia's ball. Vincey Glenn knocked it away. And the Eagles retain possession. And he's holding on to his right hand and his elbow. I believe Pete is hurt. There goes Cunningham to warm up. I think he got his elbow in his hand. And it was a nice play by Pete. They got him all the way in the field goal. He's got the ball in his hand. He's He's off and running. He tucks it away. Oh, just, just slid right out. I think he hurt his right elbow. Never got hit. The ball just slid out. And then when Robert Harris fell on him, he was already on the ground. I think Robert Harris, big defensive end, fell on him. And I think that's what hurt his elbow in his hand. So they take a look at Rodney Pete on the Philadelphia sideline on the game's opening drive and a timeout has been taken as Randall Cunningham continues to warm up on the sideline and they take a look at Rodney looking at his eye first of all and that was Ortho Davis the trainer who slid his hand up underneath the pad that what they're looking for to see if there's up in the up in the right shoulder took his hand out of there they're looking to see if there's a separation if there's anything any bone sticking up. Now the ball is fumbled without contact. That ball, he just was carrying it improperly. But now watch big Robert Harris, 97, fall on him right there. And the arm was tucked up underneath him. Rodney Pete has had his arm and eye and maybe everything else examined on the sideline. And he has gone back out onto the field. And Randall Cunningham continues to warm up just in case. Right now, Pete will face the dime secondary dying scheme of the Giants six defensive backs it's second down and 14 from the giant 38 for Philadelphia and Ricky Waters 
takes it to the 31 yard line. Picks up a nice chunk there. And the tackle made by Willie Beeman, assisted by Filippi Sparks. And that's a good call. They're trying to get back in the field goal position. So they got four wide receivers with a draw. And they have daylight because there's so many wideouts. So they make the defensive backs come in there. Felipe Sparks has to come in and make the play. Now they're in field goal range. Now they can go on and try to try to make the first down because they're in field goal range if they get an incompletion. 8.45 remaining in the first quarter. Eagles on the game opening drive. Third down and eight from the Giant 32. It runs and put down. Sacked by Jamal Duff. The sixth round pick out of San Diego State. His first NFL sack. And you told me during the week Duff was going to have a good game. That's a good call, Kevin. And this chases him out of the field goal range. Good play. 96. Oh, they just busted the block in there. Uh, it looks like Joe, Joe Pano should have blocked to the outside. They doubled down inside and just turned the man loose. Busted play by the offensive line for the Eagles. Tom Hutton leads the NFC in punting at 45 yards per punt. He'll be dealing with the wind on a high snap. And deep back is Arthur Marshall. This will go inside the 10. And not saved by the Philadelphia Eagles. They made a valiant try at it. Nate Dingle, who is a reserve linebacker, was there as Rodney Peak continues to have his eyes look at. To you by Chevrolet Trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. By the NASDAQ stock market, the stock market for the next hundred years. By FedEx, for documents, packages, and freight worldwide, our most important package is yours. And by Heineken, the number one selling imported beer. Heineken, just being the best is enough. Beautiful view of the surrounding area from the MetLife blimp. Here we've got Philadelphia and the Giants with a scoreless tie. Giants getting it for the first time today. 8.07 remaining in the first quarter. It's first down and 10 from the 20 yard line on the touchback on the punt by Philadelphia's Tom Hutton. And a fake to Rodney Hampton. Good time for Brown going deep for receiver Mike Sherrard, and it's incomplete. So it'll be second down and 10. Dave Brown just flung it long, dealing with the big win. Last week over Arizona. And it'll be protected by John Elliott, Greg Bishop, Brian Williams, Lance Smith, and Doug Riesenberg, the right tackle. Rodney Hampton is starting, although with the broken hand, along with Herschel Walker, Sherrard, and Callaway, the receivers, and Howard Cross is the tight end. And on second down and 10, it's a gain to the 23 by Rodney Hampton, leading rusher on this ball club. Andy Harmon, who had a ton of sacks last week, three, and Mike Mamula were there with the stop. And on that line, Two new faces today. Dixon and Stubbs out of football a season ago. Backup starting today with the rookie Mamula and Andy Harmon had three sacks a week ago in their win. William Thomas, Kurt Gavea, and Bill Romanowski will be the linebackers with Taylor along with McMillan, the corners, and Jackson along with Michael Zordich, the safeties. Third down and eight. Three wide receivers. And they blow that dead. Jumping early was John Elliott, Jumbo Elliott on that left tackle position. Daniel Stubbs coming in there, throwing the quarterback down, but not hard. He wasn't trying to hurt him, so they'll let that go. Uh, the Giants are pointing to the Eagles, and the Eagles are pointing to the Neutral Giants. Neutral zone infraction, 59 defense, five yards, repeat third down. Mike Mamula, the rookie, is guilty. He jumped after uh, he got in the neutral zone on Jumbo. That, that right there, that's a, that's a penalty. The last two years, three years ago, that would not be a penalty on him. And how do you like that? How do you like that penalty now? That gives the offensive lineman a chance. Without that, you could jerk the offensive lineman around, and, and, and it just gives the offensive lineman a better chance to compete. The Giants, a pretty good third down team, facing third and three. Walker in the backfield with Brown. Brown has a pass caught by Sherrard. First down to the 33-yard line. Brought down by the rookie Bobby Taylor, and the Giants get a first down on their first possession. And it was a, a blitz, but it didn't come right off. It, it was it was slow and delayed, so Brown has time. You'll see the blitz come off to his left, but he has time. And the blitz hits him late. He has time to get the, uh, the ball to Sherrod on the crossing run. 
First possession today for the Giants. No score. Six and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. It's first down and ten from the 34-yard line for New York. And the handoff to Rodney Hampton. Outside, inside, back outside. Has to get to the 44 for a first down, and he's out to the 46. Finally, Bobby Taylor chased him out of bounds. And he gets up and rolls his hand on that broken right hand. The hand is broken. He's wearing a soft cast, but he's not going to put the right hand near the ball at all, all the time. He's just going to use it to ward off tacklers, and he stiffed hand that guy a little bit. And it's about 60% he told us on Friday. I asked him, you know, what percentages are well? How does it feel? He said, uh, about 60%. The key to the Giants winning is him being able to run making the Eagles safeties come up and play them. Told me last night, 25 carries. Going to stick with that? Yeah, he has to have 25 carries. First down and 10 near the 47 of the Giants. Hampton again, got a block from Walker and takes it by midfield to the 47. William Thomas and again Bobby Taylor, the rookie from Notre Dame, were there to stop Rodney Hampton. Four consecutive years of 1,000-yard seasons. He has the quick feet. He's going to carry it all the way across the formation, which means people have to hold their blocks. It's not a quick hitter. And Lance Smith doing the trap, and the onside guard did the kickout block. Second down and five. Giants on the move. Five ten remaining as the clock ticks here in the first quarter. On the drop play, handoff goes to Rodney Hampton, digging his way for just a couple yards before Kurt Gavea brings him down. Now for a McDonald's game break, let's go back to the National Sportscaster of the Year, James Brown. Thank you, Kevin, and take a look at one of the outstanding running backs, Eric Rett, oh. capping a 10-play, 70-yard drive by the Buccaneers. They lead the Vikes 7-3, 8 in the first. Back to Kevin and Jerry. James was honored this past week at the Washington Touchdown Club in Washington, D.C., and our heartiest congratulations to one of the great people in the business and one of the great guys in the business. James Brown back in Hollywood. Our sincerest congratulations. Third down and four. Brown with pretty good time in the pocket. Tried to get it out. but was knocked down at the line by Ronnie Dixon. Last year he was driving a truck. That time he drove right through the offensive line of the Giants. And that was not Brown's first choice. That was about his fourth choice. He looked all over. They flooded. Watch Brown to his left here. Flooding that side. And he's got good protection. He's looked to the wide out downfield. He looks to Herschel, doesn't like that, and finally looks over to, Wad, uh, to, to Rodney and uh, uh, got batted down by a defensive lineman. Mike Horan, who is averaging 42 yards a punt, they'll put it away for the Giants. And Calvin Martin, the former Seahawk and Cowboys deep back, they'll let this bounce and back it in that end of the end zone where it's a touchback. And the Eagles will get their second possession. 47 yard punt by Mike Horan scoreless in the Meadowlands on a chilly windswept day. He took that last hit. I think his contact apparently came loose. The trainers were working with him on the side, put the contact back in, and then they applied a little fluid. I also noticed that they were messing around with his elbow. I'm not sure if that also sustained uh, some injury during the impact, but he seems to be fine. Back to you. And they put the contact back in, put Rodney back in. First and 10 from the 20 to hand off to Ricky Waters. And he's stacked up at the 22, Keith Hamilton was right there. Well, you told us the Giants have to have Rodney Hampton carrying the ball a lot to win. What about the Eagles today? The Eagles today were, were on an excellent drive, the first drive. The Giants were not stopping what they were doing. What actually had, you know, just the fumble, just letting the ball go loose. Their game plan is to mix the formations and find a bubble, a soft spot where they can run with multiple formations. Here's three wideouts with two backs. It is second down and eight. And people put it on top. Again, escapes danger. Has to get to the 30-yard line, and he's out to the 29. And probably shy of the first down, depending on where they mark him. But it seems as though 29 is where they'll put him down. Robert Harris was there with the stop. An excellent escape ability. Everybody knew Cunningham could run. But Cunningham's a long runner, a loper, a long strider, where you watch Pete, quick feet, little short steps, and, and bam, he's got a first down. One guy is quiet, Cunningham. The other guy, Rodney Pete, is a leader, they say. He's feisty in that huddle. And that's what Rhodes, he thought that would spark him because he'll holler at people and tell people to get it going. Double tight ends, third down and one in the second possession of the day for the Eagles in a scoreless game. And the handoff to Ricky Waters. Corey Widmer was there, and he'll be close to a first down. That was the sixth carry today by Waters, and they give him the first down. Eagles are on the move. And Waters did not have it. He had to get it on the second. It's going to be a lead. They're going to run up into here, and the second effort is why he gets it. They shut it down to begin with. 
and a good second effort. Here it is here. It's all clogged up. Where do I go? Head on head. The second effort stretching out gets the first down. First down and 10, seventh carry now by Ricky Waters. Cuts the corner, got a block, and has the first down at the 45-yard line. Big gain of 14 for Ricky Waters. And I watch him run, and what really shocks me about his career is when he was at Notre Dame, Lou Holtz one year switched him to flanker. I cannot imagine why you take a guy like Waters and one year he decided to make him a wide receiver. Well, did you like? You know, he played a lot of receiver with San Francisco, and he's done the same thing now for Philadelphia. They will motion him and get him out of that backfield, but I think his bread and butter's got to be in the backfield carrying the ball. And one year at Notre Dame, uh, Coach Holtz decided to make him a wide receiver. Charlie Garner comes in for Waters. First down and 10 yards to go in the throw. Incomplete looking for Calvin Williams, and there was a thicket of giant defenders around the 50 yard line it'll be second and 10 and Michael Brooks had read that route he knew the slant was coming and he got there and he had his face right on the receiver's face and that'll cause him to pull their arms down get your hands out of the passing lane Rodney Pete the son of a coach in the NFL Willie Peters now the backfield coach with the Chicago Bears I talked to Willie we had the bear game last week and I just talked to Willie just a week ago about what a great job his son's doing and Willie is a great coach I tried to hire Willie when we were in Texas he made the right move he didn't come with us second and ten handoff Ricky Waters breaks a tackle another first down to the 42 of New York Strahan got him that's a 13 yard game so in two consecutive carries he rumbles for 14 that time he slashes for 13 eight carries and 52 yards all right here's your opposite backs very unusual it's a lag draw he'll lead and he'll carry Baltimore used to run this when they had the Colts you don't see much of it used to be called the Baltimore late now that Baltimore moved in Indianapolis nobody runs the play <laughs> <laughs> that's a good explanation <laughs> First down and 10. Good looking drive by the Eagles again in a scoreless game. Approaching one minute remaining in the first quarter as Waters spins his way to the 40 yard line. Brought down by Strayan, and there may have been a fumble. But they mark him down at the 40, and so just a gain of two by Ricky Waters, who has had a hard time holding on to the ball. He is leading the league in fumbles. I believe he has four this year. If he fumbles again, he's there all by himself. He's tied for the lead league in fumbles, and he's had 12 fumbles in his career. Looks like he's out of gas here. You can't get that tired. Well, this on, this, on this drive alone, he's rumbled for 14 yards and 13 yards and another carry. Well, you got to keep on rumbling. Looks like he's uh, looking for oxygen. You can't find it in your shoe. You got to keep going. It's second down and eight for the Eagles. A nice play action by Peyton going on. He's got Carter inside the 20. And he's down to the 10-yard line. He beat Vincey Glenn. Glenn finally brought him down. And it's another first down for Philadelphia on a nice pass by Rodney Pete with a great catch by Garner. And good coaching by the Giants. They faked a man to man. So I thought they had the quarterback full. When he jumps in here, the quarterback should read that's man to man, but he beats it right down the seam on a zone. When you run play action pass, you don't have progressive reads. You got a guy you want to get the ball to, and there he is down to the weak side. We've reached the end of the first quarter. Wind is flying. Eagles are flying. Eagles on the move in a scoreless game with that Giants. You'll see either the Dallas Cowboys take on the San, Fran the San Diego Chargers or the Washington Redskins battle the Arizona Cardinals. Check local listings for the game and time in your area. And here's a first down pitch out to Waters. And Ricky Waters is ushered out of bounds at about the seven yard line. Robert Harris was the one doing the usher. All right, when the Eagles have multiple formations, when they run two tight ends, look for a lineman pulling. Here's two tight ends, but that usually means a guard or a tackle. One of these people are going to come out and lead when they get two tight ends, and it's the tackle. Here comes the tackle. Antone Davis pushing and shoving. That's kind of unfair when you got a 320 pounder on a pencil neck DB, but that's how the play ends up uh, working out for him. Second down for Rodney Pete. Good looking drive. Second down and seven from the Giant Eight. And the tight ends in there, West and Jimmy Johnson. Johnson is on the move. As is Ricky Waters. Touchdown, Philadelphia. So Waters, who had runs of 14 yards and 13 yards, goes running for eight right there, and he puts the Eagles on the board first. And two tight ends in the ballgame side for side. Watch the pulling guard. It was Joe Pano, 72. 
pulling out the front side and waters it's like picking a chicken wing here's the two tight ends watch this guard follow panos there goes 72 gets the man kicks him out turns right up inside and the key is two tight ends the lineman's pulling well, the giants looking at a picking a chicken wing but you looks like new york may have swallowed the bone extra point is up and in Ricky Waters gets the touchdown, his first rushing touchdown in a Philadelphia uniform. Yard drive by Philadelphia. Waters from eight yards away. First rushing touchdown as an Eagle. His uh, third touchdown of the make it second touchdown of the season. He had a receiving touchdown already. As we see Tyrone Wheatley, the heralded rookie out of Michigan, and Gary Anderson getting the ball up on a tee that may not hold much today because of this severe wind inside the Meadowlands this afternoon. The Giants had to bring their safety up to hold the ball. Let's see uh, if it'll stay on the tee for the Jets. Of course, if it is always a adventure with this Eagles kickoff coverage because it has been horrible this season for lack of a better term. Herschel Walker from the goal line. And Walker kind of chops his way near the 20 yard line, brought down by Robbie Carpenter. So, after punting the first time, they had a Giants with their second possession. A rushing touchdown from Ricky Waters, so they kick off with the worst kickoff coverage in the NFL. And here's the kickoff team. You can tell they're really working on this. It's lane control. Stay in your lanes. No freelance. Stop it right there. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Don't open up a spot. Hit the four freshmen with your holding hands. Red Rover, Red Rover. Don't let any Eagles come over. <laughs> and there they are, all in their lane. No place to run. That's a better job by the Eagles special teams than what we've seen prior to that kick. Especially in contrast to a week ago when the Redskins began with an average at the 36-yard line. Here are the Giants are at the 21. Beginning here, Rodney Hampton finds room and he's out to the 32-yard line. Nice hole, gain of 11, and a giant first down. Rodney had, I tell you, right hand broke. It doesn't matter. And when you talk to him, we asked him what he wants to do this week, and he sounds like a defense. He says, I want to pound the defense. I want to get the ball and pound them. Not many backs say that. A lot of backs say, well, you know, I hope I catch him passes. Hope I have a good run. This guy looks in the eye and says, I want to pound the defense. you got to love that guy. Hearing it on the great record of Joe Morris, the all-time rushing lead in the history of the story giant franchise. Herschel Walker takes it up the middle. The former Philadelphia Eagle, Greg Jackson, was there to shut the door for Philadelphia's defense. And Andy Harmon got in there also. Uh, he had good second effort. Herschel hit the pile. There wasn't much there. So anything he got, he sort of got on his own. And there's Andy. Andy's having a, a dynamite uh, year, but he's had a good year the last couple of years. Just never got that recognition. Three sacks last week against the Redskins. Approaching the 13-minute mark here in the second quarter. It is second down and seven for the Giants, who trail seven to nothing. Walker's a receiver, and he comes in motion. Brown has not hit a receiver today. Is that time whacked by Daniel Stubbs? And he got there in a hurry, didn't he? Not much chance for the quarterback when you get hit this quick. This is Stubbs, 92. Oh, a quick arm over went right by Riesenberg. Riesenberg got caught uh, too heavy on his hand in the stance. He was so heavy on his hand, he couldn't get off and, and make, make the move. Uh, but Stubbs was quick. Stubbs, who's played six seasons with San Francisco, Dallas, and Cincinnati. Receiver. Penalty has lost it down. Second down. So second down now for the Giants. For you people that like defensive backs also, I think the best rookie corner is in this game for the Eagles. Bobby Taylor, 21. They don't help much. Big, tall guy, but a guy that really impresses me as a rookie corner. Tough position to play, but I think he's going to be a guy with an unbelievable future at that position. Now from the 35, from the shotgun is Brown. There goes a flag, and Brown throws, and it's picked up by the rookie Bobby Taylor. Taylor breaks one tackle, he's to the 45, and brought down there 
But we'll have to see what the marker is about at the 33 yard line. And that holds. That would be Bobby Taylor's first career interception. It's not going to hold. Mike Mamula, second time he's jumping, and they're getting him. It's funny. When we interviewed Dave Brown, what did Dave Brown tell us he was going to do? Go with Mamula. Going to pull Mamula off sides because Mamula won't stay in there and hold on. He's over here, but th this is the guy that says, I'll get Mamula at least twice before this game's over, and he's getting it. Defense number 59. Five yards, repeat third down. Good job by Dave Brown. And what I tell you about that young corner, that guy can play. 21 is the best rookie draft pick corner out here playing. You said last night, maybe in the last year or two. In the last two, three years, I haven't seen a rookie that can play as well as he does at the corner. Once again in the spread and four receivers deployed for Dave Brown. Third down and two in the handoff to Walker. He has to get to the 42-yard line, and he continues to stand up a pile on the entire defense. The whole team picture was involved in that one. <laughs> By now for a McDonald's game break, let's go back to Hollywood, and here's James Brown. Devin Jacksonville looking to become the first expansion team ever to win three straight. James Stewart with the screen pass finds Paydirt. Jacksonville on top of Chicago, 7-3, late in the first. Back to Kevin and Jerry. And of course, you never like to look early at a game like that, especially with the Chicago Bears involved, but the record for expansion teams winning in their first year, just three games. They've already won two, speaking of Jacksonville. I don't know when an expansion team won three Come in on. a row. Now, that would wow. be something. That would be, I would assume, a record. First down by Walker on the run. Hampton is in the backfield with that broken right hand. Here come the flags. The play clock was at zero, and we'll have to see if that plays a role in this penalty. Well, they must not have reset the clock because they certainly didn't take that time. They never reset There's no the clock. Penalty play. We set the play clock to seven seconds. Now, where would he come up with seven seconds? I love it when they know what they're doing. Well, they got one guy that keeps the time of the big board, one guy that keeps the play clock time, one guy that keeps, in fact, they all keep the down and distance. Well, that's, that's nice that they're all together, dude. You, you, you should know that. <laughs> But he did. He added at 24 seconds. He said we set it at seven and they put it at 25. First and ten dump off to Rodney Hampton. Close to a first down to the Eagle 47 yard line. Romanowski and Kurt Gavea, the former Redskin, were there. It's a penalty against the Giants. Holding is the call. And that'll wipe that completion away. Oh, that holding will hurt him because they're moving the ball. They're starting to get a little control. Legal hands to the face. Number 78 offense. Ten yards. First down. Greg Bishop, the left guard, got his hands in the wrong place. Here's 78 right here. Ronnie Dixon, is it on him? No. Kevin Johnson. There's the hand. He got the left hand under the jaw, and he's pushing him up. If you get your hand on the jaw, you got to get it off. You got to get it off, and he left it there. Two apiece in the penalty category. Now it is first down and 20, and the ball pushed all the way back to the giant 33. Brown with a long look at that Eagle defense, and he throws down field pass caught. Sherrard, who Brown has gone to a couple times today, picks up 13 yards there, and he's near the 45. Talking with Dan Reeves last night, uh, uh, yesterday afternoon, he said, we're not good enough to make mistakes and win. And, of course, you're talking about penalties. You're talking about dropping the ball. You're talking about turnovers. And here they got a crucial penalty after they had a first down, and, and he doesn't think the team is good enough at this point to overcome a lot of mistakes. Second down and seven. Hampton digs his way through, takes it to midfield. It'll still be a couple yards shy of the first down. Michael Zordich came up from the strong safety and made the tackle. When you play strong safety for the Eagles, you're like a linebacker, and there's Zordich right up there in the linebacker position. Smacking and hitting. Zordich is a guy that he missed his first game ever in his career two weeks ago. And talking to him, he says, that really killed me. I wanted, to, I wanted my whole career never to miss a start. And he missed a start with a pulled groin. And you could tell that really bothered him. Third down and two for midfield for Brown. is in the gun. Four receivers are put two. Offside again, Mamula. There goes the flags. Three down for Brown. Throw is incomplete. Looking for Aaron Pierce. Well, Dave Brown certainly called this one, didn't he? He told us on Friday they're going right at Mamula. He said, I'm going to get this guy. i got to get him at least twice, and he may have him three times already, and we're not even through a half. Offside, 59 defense. Five yards, first down. 
third offside on Mamula, third on the Eagles. He must be he must be paying attention to sound in that movement. Brown must be bringing him. Cadence all important here and take a listen to Dave Brown. Well that shouldn't have got him. He just hollered the first one loud and he did shake his shoulders a little bit. Sometimes you give him a little movement with a shoulder shake and that'll bring you. Mike Chelinski has taken his place. It is a first down to the Eagle 45. Giants trail 7 0. Hand off to Hampton with the block from Walker. And a fumble by Hampton picked up by Michael Zornich. He's got to beat Howard Cross, and this will be a touchdown for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, what a turn of events. They got a good play, they got Lance Smith pulling. They're having a good run. They're having a good drive. And there's Zordich, a guy that we talked to last night. Does he love to play football? 58 yards for Zordich. Couldn't happen to a better guy. This guy loves football. It is a 58-yard return and not 42. And here's the extra point by Anderson. And that is perfect. And the Eagles have looked perfect. Hampton, who is not known for fumbling before this season, has had a horrible year. Today, modern man is safe. Insulated from the elements. We have climate control, home shopping, 500 channels. We can surf the net. We even have cars that are so smooth and quiet, you don't even know you're driving. Are you free? Are you free? Bucky and Vinny here reviewing Subway Steak and Cheese Sandwich at the home of the Steak and Cheese Philadelphia. Steak and cheese, please. So what do we think? This is the real McCoy. Tender, juicy steak with loads of real melted cheese. We have a winner. Subway, what a sandwich. From across the seas, Beck's, the number one imported German beer. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Volkswagen. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. Drivers wanted. By Subway. Now that's a sandwich. By Hertz. For business, for pleasure. Nobody does it exactly like Hertz. And by Smith Barney, a member of the Travelers Group. Smith Barney. They make money the old-fashioned way. They earn it. That's what it looks like from 86 stories up. The observation deck at the Empire State Building. And there's Zordich. We asked him last yesterday, how do you want to be remembered in pro football? He said, I want to be remembered as Mr. Hustle. I'm a guy, I, I try to spill my guts on every play. So you root for guys like this. I asked him, what, any problems with your name starting with Z? He said, Kevin, I sat in the back of the class my whole career. Herschel Walker from the goal line. Last time Walker took it, it was out to the 21. And here's that suspect kickoff coverage by the Eagles again coming into play. Anderson can't knock him out of bounds. And finally, he is chased down by Philadelphia wide receiver Rob Carpenter. It's a 67-yard return. And again, coming back to bite the Eagles is their suspect kickoff coverage. Watch the right side of your screen. Lane control. Remember the last time we said they had to stay in their lanes. They couldn't leave anything open. There, he got one man on the ground. Stop it right there. There's nobody in the lane control. They went all the way past the ball. When you cover the kick, you cannot go deeper than the ball. So special teams continue to nail the Eagles. And look where New York begins at the Philadelphia 32. Their best beginning field position today. Walker is a receiver at the top of your screen. Hampton, who just fumbled, is in there. And the pump fake to Walker. Brown will go to Hampton. 
at the 32 and he works his way to the 27 yard line and he picks up five Romanowski and Gavea there when we talked to Hampton he said he was not going to carry the ball with the broken hand he was going to ward off the defenders the ball is in his right hand the broken hand the broken hand he told us that was he wasn't going to do that and bam there goes the ball getting knocked right Kurt Cavea puts his helmet right on the ball and the ball comes out and there's Michael Zordich running for the touchdown second down and five Brown has got to get to the 22 he's very close to the 22 right at the 22 is where Dave Brown is knocked out of bounds. This will give them some momentum with the nice 67 yard kickoff return by Herschel Walker. Greg Jackson who spent five seasons with the New York Giants chases down Brown. And it's hard on the Giants to play airless football and their coach says we're not good enough right now. We haven't played great offense a whole game or great defense a whole game. We haven't put anything together for a total complete game. So coming in you said Walker's got to be a very big asset in the backfield but Hampton has got to carry 25 times or more in the Giants with coach Dan Reeves looking on they've got to play airless football and so far they haven't done that Hampton coming into the season it carried 466 times without a fumble this season he's fumbled four times first down and ten nice play fake by Brown good time Throws into the end zone and incomplete. Looking for Sherrard, who is covered by five foot seven Mark McMillan. And Mark McMillan, they know he'll jump routes. He jumps inside on the slant, but he's quick enough with the hips. This is the five seven, the little guy. He'll roll right around and get back in there for the coverage. Good job. And and the Eagles don't help the corners much. Watch him. He's looking inside. And he jumps the slant. He's it, but he's able to swivel his hips, come back out for the corner. And gets his right hand on the ball. They thought they could get him on a double move, but he took the post and then went back for the post corner. Eagles on top, 14 to nothing. Second down and 10 for the Giants from the Eagle 22 yard line. Callaway is in motion. He has not been thrown to today. And here's the pass. They're looking for tight end Howard Cross. It's an incomplete pass. Cross was looked like double teamed on the play. Andy Harmon was coming up the middle and pressuring Dave Brown. I had a great view. I'm Dave Brown. I'm looking downfield, and I'll promise everybody at home, no one's open. They had everything shut down. And William Thomas playing good linebacker. There was nowhere to go with the football. Kansas City on top of New England by a three-point count, 10 to 7. Walker is in the backfield, and from the gun is quarterback Dave Brown facing third down and 10 from the Eagle 22. Offside goes Kevin Johnson. That's a three down for Brown who throws a pass which is caught. Aaron Pierce inside the seven. In a 16. Offsides again is going to be turned down by the Eagles. But what the Eagles did with Mamula, they put him in a two point stance so he wouldn't jump offsides. Offside. He's standing. 94 defense. Penalties declined. First down. They put him in a two point so he wouldn't jump offsides and the down lineman next to him jumps offsides. I mean simply by putting him in a two point stance standing up and make him less likely to get offsides. They'll make him look in at the football when you get the two point stance you get in there and you stare at the ball and don't move to the ball moves. From the seven first and goal for the Giants best penetration today into Eagle territory Brown trailing 14 to nothing. Walker and Hampton in the backfield. Marshall Walker had a couple years in Philadelphia twirls to the two Romanowski and Greg Jackson stop it gain of three and he ran right after him. there wasn't any finesse on this play watch the handoff and watch the contact no lead blocker he's by himself it's going to be one on one two in the hole waiting on him Woo! Kurt Cavea and Bill Romanowski Second down goal at the three. Hampton he is held for a yard gain at the most. Romanowski was there. Last time we were in New York, the Saints and Giants were playing, and Rodney Hampton had four rushing touchdowns. 
And when Romanowski was at the Redskins, I would hate to go to Washington because he'd make every tackle on the goal line. Every tackle on the goal line. That's what Romanowski does. And, uh, pardon me, not Romanowski, uh, uh, Govea. And he's still doing it. Every time we go to Redskins, Govea would knock us down on the goal line. And here he is doing the same thing. Halfway through the second quarter, third down and goal for Dave Brown from the two. Good time. Throws and bobbled and dropped by Rodney Hampton. Never really open. Nothing really there. And you're allowed to bump and shove within the five yards. Don't be hollering because the bump and shove was legal. We can't see the push and shove, but they banged Rodney in the legal zone. Good play by William Thomas. William Thomas bangs him, and that's legal because of where they're at. Actually threw off the pattern. I don't know if I, in a, in a crucial third down, do you throw to a guy with a broken hand? Here it is, you're trying to get back in the game. Do you make a pass to a guy with a broken hand? 20-yard field goal attempt by DeLuisa is good, so the Giants cannot fully capitalize on the 67-yard kickoff return by Herschel Walker, but they're on the board for the first time. We're in the second quarter. Don't let them tell you it's going to be easy. There are no shortcuts or magic formulas. Making money takes research, intellect, and hard, hard work. Any investment firm that tells you differently is telling you they have no intention of working hard on your behalf. Before you hand them your money, examine their work ethic. Be certain they have one. Smith Barney. They make money the old-fashioned way. They earn it. than denim in every pair of Levi's jeans. I am the picture of health. I'm low-cal and high-fiber. I'm homogenized and pasteurized. I'm fat-free. So how come I still feel like... On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. Mad TV exposes the dangers of virtual reality. Why don't you jump in and see if it's hot? Woohoo! Catch Mad TV late night Saturday. With Jerry Glanville and Pam Oliver strolling the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan from Giant Stadium in East Rutherford. A 67 yard kickoff return by Herschel Walker against the struggling special teams coverage of the Eagles produced only a 20 yard field goal by Brad DeLuisa but it's Eagles 14 and Giants 3. Here's the Eagles sitting on the bench with their special teams out there and I think the way you get everybody get everybody off the bench get everybody involved get them over there watching watching their teammates don't let anybody sit out. DeLuisa to kick off for the New York Giants. Martin and Garner are deep back this takes a bounce and Charlie Garner on a hop from the 15 finds a seam again Bad coverage team for the Giants, just like for Philadelphia. And out to the 33-yard line they go with Armstead making the stop. All right, today's athletic trivia question is, who caught the first pass in Giant Stadium history? The answers coming right up. When Subway asked us, Bucky and Vinny, to review their authentic steak and cheese sandwich, we went to the steak and cheese capital of the world, Philadelphia. Hey, this is where they filmed my favorite movie. How about a great steak and cheese? Hey, champ, steak and cheese, please. This is very good, this is. Like it, huh? This is the real McCoy. Tender, juicy steak with loads of melted cheese all on fresh baked bread. We have a winner. Subway, what a sandwich. You're cruising at 13,000 feet. Winds are moderate, sky is clear, a perfect day to jump. It's Blue Sky Skydiving outside Seattle, where you can see the world at 160 miles an hour. So if you're crazy enough to try it, make sure you're smart enough to bring your Visa card, because at Blue Sky's American Express just won't fly. By the way, they do insist you pay first. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Oh. 
Oh, this is South Dakota. We found out Tony was pregnant in late April. Of course, the babies were born eight weeks premature. It was hard on both of us. Tony found out about Aflac from some uh, friends of ours. The Aflac took care of virtually everything. Aflac covers the unexpected cost of getting better so you can get on with life. Baby's names are Tyler and Taylor, and they're about as healthy as you can get. All right, again, our Aflac trivia question today. Who caught the first pass in Giant Stadium history? Current Eagles coach and former Giant Ray Rhodes, who played wide receiver for the Giants on October 10th, Bicentennial year of 1976 and it was against the Dallas Cowboys from here he went out to become a defensive back with the San Francisco 49ers he retired they asked him to become a coach he did now he's the head coach with Philadelphia 44 year old Ray Rhodes and a hard nosed tough football coach you wonder most wide receivers don't carry that type of temperament but you can tell he played some defense in his career Eagles from their own 33 first down and 10 and the handoff to Ricky Waters and a lot of Giants got a hand in there Armstead Buckley and Michael Strahan had a hand on Ricky Waters Michael Strahan you thought he might be a key defensively today for the Giants he's the man that can make the big play he's developing into an excellent pass rusher and he can help the secondary and he can help the linebackers second down and nine 14 to three Philadelphia 615 remaining in the second quarter Pete and it down at the line of scrimmage Keith Hamilton he got that hand up in a hurry that was an excellent quick move by Hamilton because the ball was fired watch how quickly the ball comes out there's Keith Patton Sanchez I did it I did it we saw you. he's going to get it right here watch how quickly the ball comes out one two three fire bam gets the ball oh, that's nice play good job Keith Hamilton Charlie Garner out of the game right now a bruised right knee he will return 39 for the Eagles with Waters in motion and Rodney Pete pretty good time got the block moves up has to get to the 42 Pete cannot get a block and down he goes and the Giants hold him Tito Wooten with the tackle Tito made an excellent play in space if Tito doesn't make that block the first down is a gimme Tito Wooten playing more and more. He's going to have to become a starter. Too much ability, too much talent, and what a nice play in space. We call this space. He's all by himself. It's one on one in the open field. Oh, nice job by Tito. Second punt now for the Eagles, and Tom Hutton is leading the NFC with a nice average of 42 yards per punt. First three and out today for Philadelphia. We're at the five and a half mark of the second quarter. He tackles Arthur Marshall. And Marshall from the 23 down. Got a nice block by Beeman. He still tries to scatter around and can't find much since he's to the 23. No return on the play. Nate Dingle makes the stop for Philadelphia. The Eagles lead it 14 to 3. Some nice cold Miller Lite. Life is good. You are worthy opponents. Let us celebrate. I know a good sports bar around the corner. Life is good. <laughs> okay, new rules. Individuals are no longer more important than the team. You want a piece of that championship? Put it in here. Nobody can do it alone, but together we can do it. Sports magazines include more team photos. More game balls go to linemen. Home runs start getting more press than holdouts. We pat someone on the butt when they fail and celebrate like madmen when they succeed. Starter, it's about team. 
Can a divorced man find happiness with a girl half his age? She's absolutely perfect for me. Just don't cart her when she comes in. A brand new Misery Loves Company tonight. Eagles on top and a fumble return for a touchdown and Ricky Waters eight yard. Touchdown run himself, 14 to three. The MetLife Blimp is teamed up with Fox Sports to provide a bird's eye view of Giants Stadium. The MetLife Blimp is equipped with state-of-the-art camera systems and is providing these aerial shots of New York City. Although in the background there you saw Newark, New Jersey. Here's a first and ten pitch out to Tyrone Wheatley. First time we have seen him today, and he works his way to the 26 before he's brought down by Mike Mamula. Tyrone Wheatley, hurdler in high school. Hurdler, a high hurdler. That's the key. Started last week, high hurdler and triple jumper. And that, you're talking about a long strider. When we used to recruit and look for players, I love athletes that ran the low hurdlers because they're good at guys that run the high hurdlers now are long striders and their feet are in there a long time between steps. He takes some big ones. Second down and seven from the 27. Brown. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. And down at the 26, a loss of one. And Daniel Stubbs makes his first sack today, his second of the season. And here's Stubbs filling in on that defensive line for Philadelphia. Stubbs replacing today William Fuller, who is injured. I think William Fuller is going to have a hard time getting his job back. This Stubbs can play arm over quickness. He's leaving Riesenberg in his shoes. He's right here on the outside. Oh, Riesenberg tried a late cut. He's down there looking for worms. <laughs> wow, you can't do that. Bring your pail when you're looking for worms. Yeah, look for worms and make the, make the thing work. A third and seven snap to Brown is halted and stopped before the play was allowed to start. Penalty flag thrown. 4.05 remaining in the second quarter. 14 to 3. Philadelphia on top with Jerry Glanville and Pam Oliver. This is Kevin. Start snap. 76 offense. False start. Five yards. Repeat third down. John Elliott, Jumbo Elliott called. Dan Reeves again said we can't have penalties. We can't turn the ball over. We got to play airless football. They have made errors and it's cost them. It's cost them. That's why they're behind. And one thing about the Eagles, they don't play cover two, which means they do not help the corners. So you got the shortest corner in the league on one side and you got a rookie on the other. So you're going against people that don't ask for help and aren't going to get any if you can find a way to get the ball out there. On the 21, third down and 12 with the penalty against the Giants. Brown again with good time to throw, but cannot find a receiver and finally swings it on the near side, looking for Callaway. Incomplete. Giants have got a punt for a second time in four possessions. Very unusual. We got third and 12, and we got normal people in the game. By normal people, we got two wideouts. We can't see him. We got a tight end, two backs, and a two wideouts, which is you are going against a nickel defense. There's no one going to be open. You got to match people with people. You got to get three wideouts. You got to get four wideouts. It's a game of matchups. It's a game that allowed them to. That they got smothered. Haran to punt for the Giants. Second punt today, and Calvin Martin looks under it with the sun out. Now he has to battle the sun, and he is caught it at the fair catch at the 42-yard line. That is a 37-yard punt by Mike Haran. Who is known as a directional punter? Well, after centuries of seeking a cure for bulbous, the search is finally over. Move over, Fabio, because Al Bundy's got a hot new look on a brand new episode of Married with Children tonight at 9, 8 Central on Fox. We're from Giant Stadium today. Charlie Garner is in the backfield, and here's a ragged-looking handoff, and Gardner's fighting for his life and finally gets free, and he picks up a yard on the play. So Jerry, when he should have lost five, he didn't gain anything, but there was no loss in the play as Jesse Armstead chopped him down. Unbelievable penetration by Michael Strahan. Strahan got upfield, disrupted the whole thing. He'll be over here on this side, coming upfield. He came underneath the reach block by Brooks and sent the, uh, the running back real deep. Then they all had to gather in and get him. Nice job by Strahan. Second down, 10 yards to go from the 43-yard line. Pete once again retreats to the pocket. Ricky Waters the drop at the 45. And Pete is down. He's off the deck. Waters the drop. It'll be third down.
Ricky Waters has had a good uh, week or two catching the football. Ah, he looked downfield. He had the ball in his hand. He was looking to see where he's going to cut. He looked too soon. He didn't tuck the ball away as he was looking downfield. Two and a half minutes remaining in the second quarter. Eagles on top, 14 to three. It is third down and ten from the 43 for Rodney Pete. Hockett crumbles. He had a face mask. There's no call, and down he goes at the line of scrimmage. Coleman Rudolph the sack second today by the Giants Hamilton I think got all of his face mask they did not call it Hamilton had it first Keith was back there first and flushed him over to Rudolph this will be Keith Hamilton he's the guy that caused the problem going against Joe Panos he didn't get the face mask he just reached in and shook him up a little bit but you see they had three wide outs they didn't keep normal people you get third and long it's hard to play with your normal formation Second consecutive three and out for the Philadelphia Eagles, who lead it 14 to three. Hutton once again with the punt. It's wobbly. Arthur Marshall trying to track it down on the near side and out of bounds inside the 30 yard line. And we have reached the two minute warning. And now the sunny Meadowlands here in East Rutherford. It's the Eagles leading New York 14 to three. Is that Johnson's team behind us? Exactly. Are they members of Hertz number one club gold? Exactly. Are we members of Hertz number not, one? Not, not, not exactly. So thanks to Hertz, they're gonna get to the meeting on time. And we'll be late. So exactly what will I tell the boss? Hmm? In rent a car, there's Hertz, and there's not exactly. Make sure you choose the right one. And then a dog in the cargo hold ate our presentation. <laughs> Is he buying it? <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> You're my agent. You have to do something about this. My face is on the cup with a duck. Well, I'm allergic to ducks. Well, what about Bugs Bunny? He's cool. What? Emmett Smith has Bugs? He's just a running back. Now at McDonald's, get a free Looney Plays to go cup when you supersize any extra value meal. The NFL's Emmett Smith with Bugs, Barry Sanders with Taz, Bledsoe with Wiley, and Marino with Daffy on new to go cups. How'd I get on a McDonald's cup with Marino? I'm agent. I'm allergic to dolphins. Have you had your break today? After a hard day, there's nothing like a good bedtime story. Introducing Sealy's most advanced posture pedic ever for the back support you need. Now, the only foundation made from steel beams, not wood, is redesigned to be even stronger. Now, Sealy has a more sensitive sense and respond coil system, and its patented sensory arm senses and cushions your movement, then responds to your weight with increasing support, correct support. No wonder we're America's best seller. Posture pedic support, only from Sealy. Good look at Harry Boatswain, the former San Francisco 49er Eagles on top, 14 to three. Coming up on the Dockers halftime, JB, Terry, Howie, and Jimmy will have all the scores from around the National Football League. It's all coming up next on the Dockers halftime. Well, the Giants, Jerry, have had the ball four times today: two punts, a fumble. And they blew a 67-yard return by Herschel Walker by getting only three when they probably should have gotten seven. They were first and goal at the Eagle six and had to settle for a field goal. And you got to give credit to the Eagles. And uh, we talked about Kurt Kavea. He's the guy that will smack you in that goal line situation. 155 remaining in the first half, first and ten. And here's the shuffle pass, and it goes off to Walker, who has jumped on at the 30 and carries a defender. William Thomas to be accurate to the 31. Second down coming up and a ways to go. The clock continues to tick. Second down pass. And it's caught. Callaway, 41-yard line. First down. The Giants are operating with all of their three timeouts in the first half, and they take their first one right there. Brown will burn one. And that's the first pass today to Callaway. And again, no help for Mark McMillan. He's out there by himself. Shortest corner in the league. Shutting him down. Giants have it against that Eagle defense. Giants trailing 14 to 3. I find you incredibly attractive. There was something about him. Say yes! <laughs> something irresistible. He spent the entire night with a complete stranger. Something dangerous. I think I should go now. Something. I will let you. Out of control. There's an intruder in my home. We have to talk. Why are you doing this to me? Never talk to strangers. Rated R at theaters Friday. Eagles on top. They recovered a fumble, ran it in for a touchdown, and they got an eight-yard touchdown return by 
Ricky Waters. Can a second-rate lawyer from the streets of New York win the biggest case of his life in the Deep South? Academy Award winners Joe Pesci and Marissa Tomei scoring my kids and Vinny this week on the Fox Tuesday Night Movie. Round first and ten has to bury his head and go down. Mamula and Woodard jumped on him and brought him down. Loss of two on the play. No place to throw the football. They ran a dog. They ran an extra guy after the quarterback, and they're playing man to man, and nobody's open. Second down, 12. Once again, trying to get flushed from the pocket. Brown, down he goes, 45 yard line, and a gain of about five on the play. Clock continues to tick now at 110 here in the first half. What I'm seeing up here, you can't see on your TV screen. Oh my gosh, look at all those picks. Guy just dropped his game plan. The whole game plan is coming on the field. From, from, up, the, from upstairs in the booth, Jerry, they take these pictures right. of the opposing Eagles, and from the giant sideline, all their pictures, all their strategy is just blown right across. I think that may help them, though. I think if <laughs> I think if this strategy blows away, they'll be better off the second half. Wow, I've never seen that. Game stop because of strategy blowing on field. I like that. Gone with the wind is now the favorite phrase over on the Giants. There it is. Side. Look at this. There's a good play. Grab that one. Let the see him. He this guy here has one. He's getting the good plays, and they're letting these bad plays go. <laughs> get that's a good play. That one there. You can get this one. Get it. Yes. That no. Oh, he's got it. And he's in for the touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll help the Giants. They'll come up with some new stuff in the, in the second half. They need to. Definitely. They're man, struggling. I'm, I'm impressed. We got a rookie and we got a guy 5'7", and they're playing man-to-man, -man, no help, and they're doing a good job. Now they're in the zone. They just switched to a zone because they went three wide to one side. From the 42, third down and 10 for Brown. He fumbled the ball as he was hit, and the Giants recovered. Greg Bishop got on it third fumble today by New York when the Giants motion to three people on one side there's three people now to Brown it made the Eagles check the zone look at Brown look I'm looking like he is nobody's open nobody's open and there's the pressure and he gets sacked and drops the ball no one was open folks there's, there's no place to put the ball so another timeout taken by New York. They have one remaining. As Dan Reeves and the frustrated look. Eagles took the timeout there. So the Eagles have taken the timeout. And they're still collecting the pictures that have blown away from the giant sideline back in the end zone. <laughs> that was the largest collection of pictures that nobody wanted to purchase that I've ever seen. Probably not a Picasso in the group, though. No, there wasn't anything in there of any value. Shows you how much the technology of the NFL has changed now they take the pictures upstairs they fax them downstairs and here the coaches can have it within 10 15 seconds this looks like a punt block they're coming with eight people eight man rush on the punt oh, they, and they shifted they went to a giant left they're, they're overloaded the defensive left side they got more people on the right side of the, the, the here they come Taylor was blocked at the last second by Seahorn the punt not good by Haran and it was touched by a giant Maurice Douglas, a punt of 35 yards. It's New York's ball with 41 seconds to play in the first half. And Mo Douglas, the former Bear, got in there. Special teams by the Eagles. The attitude, the philosophy of Coach Rhodes has not permeated to special teams. They're not making plays, they're killing themselves. We said in the opener, it could cost them the game. That's the punter. They get excited. No contact involved with him. He just gets to raise his hand. <laughs> so the Giants, who have had it here before but had to settle for three, will try to make some damage and some noise with 41 seconds remaining. From the 31 of Philadelphia, Brown in the shotgun. Good time. Swings it out to Walker at the 35. Has to get to the 21. He's run out of bounds, stopping the clock at the 25-yard line by Bobby Taylor. Bobby Taylor, rookie corner. The best rookie I've seen in a couple of years. A lot of people spend draft picks to get a good corner. Pick first round, second round. Here's a guy that's going to pan out. What's interesting, his dad, his dad was in the 72 Olympics in Munich. Gold, got a gold medal winner. Gold medal and a silver. So this guy, you know, he's he's got speed. It's born into him. 
Brown now second down and four. 35 seconds to play. Pretty good time. Throws again to Walker. Walker's got the first down inside the 20, inside the 17. And down he goes. Clock continues to trick at uh, 23 seconds, 22 seconds as Brown tries to assemble his crew at the 16 of Philadelphia. Spikes it and stops the clock at 16 seconds. I mean a lot for the Giants, Jerry, to get in here with something before halftime. Hey, they, they need something good to happen. And there's Coach Rhodes, and you just saw a, a look at Coach Reeves as they're trying to exchange philosophies, a little chess match. Coach here is, uh, is calling the plays. Before the game, you said special teams are key today for the Eagles, and it has burned them twice but in the first half. And we also said the Giants, they have to play mistake-free, and, and uh, they're self-destructing a little bit themselves. Second down, 10 from the Philadelphia 16-yard line for Dave Brown. There goes a flag. There goes another. There goes the pass. And it's caught at the five-yard line by Arthur Marshall. Just his fourth reception of the season. 12-yard game, but a couple flags thrown. And the, the, the flag stopped the clock. So they're down to nine seconds. The clock stopped because of the penalty. Again, an eagle jumping off sides. Offside, 51 defense. Penalties decline. First down. William Thomas, who everybody's had a shot. Every, he's pulling a little bit of everybody. He told us he'd get Mamula, but now he gets William Thomas. And they're lucky that the penalty stopped the clock. Nine seconds left. So it's first down and goal from the four-yard line. Brown with time throws, and it's incomplete. Looking for Sherrard. Six seconds left. It's second and goal. And at no time was anybody open. The slant is covered. He got up underneath the center. He's been in the shotgun. He got up underneath the center. He's going to try to throw the slant. The 21 pushes and jams him. Not open, no chance of catching it. Well, the fans don't like the call that Dan Reeves has sent in. That is to go for three by number three, Brad DeLuiso. Almost perfect inside 40 yards. He has already booted a 21-yard field goal today. This as well will be a 21-yard attempt as the Giants try to cash in on the eagle fumble. Holding is Tommy Maddox. And the kick is up and good, and the Giants get on the board before halftime with two seconds remaining as the boos cascade from the upper deck here at Giants Stadium. Ray Rhodes has got to be happy that once again his defense held. It is 14 to 6 with the Eagles on top. Well, coming up, except for the New York City area, it's the second half of our Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader. We'll either see the Dallas Cowboys take on the San Diego Chargers or the Washington Redskins battle the Arizona Cardinals. Check local listings for the game and time in your area right here on the Fox Television Network. Beautiful view of Giant Stadium, which they're going to rehab in the next couple years. Add some suites, add some seats, and uh, keep up to date. And not at taxpayer expense, I'm told. And we got some beautiful sunshine. It didn't look that way last night. We had a big rainstorm, had hail, wind, thunder, but it's beautiful today. Dockers halftime coming up next, so stay tuned for that. A wild day in the NFL. Green Bay is shutting out Detroit. As Calvin Martin awaits the Brad DeLuiso kickoff for the New York Giants and two seconds remaining. Back there with his running mate of Charlie Garner. Charlie had a bruised knee early in the game, but he is now back in, as you can see. And well, this ball, Kevin, should never get back to either one of those. This should be on the ground to the front and have somebody flop on it so you don't get a return. Ball fell off the tee. This, no deep man should touch this ball. With two seconds, just push it on the ground. Jerry, can you tell the way either quarterback is throwing today if, if they have been affected by this gusting and very common wind here at the Giants Stadium? Dave Brown is being affected by excellent coverage by the Eagles. And I try to put myself in his shoes, and nobody's open. Deloiso, as Jerry predicted, keeps it on the ground. It is picked up by Fred McCrary, a rookie fullback, and that'll be the final play of our first half. So Dave Brown struggles. There's a turnover by Rodney Hampton, which the Philadelphia Eagles returned on Michael Zordich's fumble recovery. 58 yards, he scampers. 
And then the Eagles got in on a nicely executed and orchestrated drive by Rodney Pete, an eight yard touchdown run by Ricky Waters. And here at Giants Stadium, it is 14 to 6 with the Eagles on top of New York. So, Jerry, you said air free football was key for the Giants. They have made errors. You said Hampton has got to have over 25 carries today. And Rodney Hampton has carried just eight times in the first half. And Rodney told us in, in practice he was going to carry with his left hand and he's going to ward people off with his broken right hand. He was going to hit the uh, defenders with his right hand. And we caught him carrying the ball in his right hand, got hit by Kurt Cavea, out came the ball. And when you score on defense, it's a 14 point turnaround. It's like giving you 14 rather than seven. And on the Eagles side of things, their special teams look uh, very little improved from the previous week. The first kickoff, they were excellent. They're in their lanes. Everybody looked good. And their second kickoff, they went too deep. When you and I are running down the field covering the kickoff, we never go deeper than the ball. And the ball, that you saw three people pass the ball up, and they were closer to the end zone than the return man. And bam, you get it cracked and broke deep on you. Eagles have won two consecutive games and with the win today they would go not only four and three for the season with the bye coming up next week they would also go three and oh in the NFC East Eagles 14 Giants six Dockers halftime coming up next after these messages from your local Fox station in the next century a shocking discovery missile incoming lock off we're locked on that's rock and roll will spark a war of the world this whole thing is gonna melt once the battle begins, you're putting every life on this ship at risk. It'll be more dangerous. So you think about it. Than you can imagine. Get your men back to their stations. I'm taking the bridge. I can't allow that. From the producers of the X Files. We work together or we die. Space above and beyond. Tonight at 7, 6 Central. Prepare yourself for the Invaders, a four-hour miniseries coming soon to Fox. Coach scores big laughs every weeknight at 6.30 on Fox Philadelphia. Remember, it's not only how fast you can go, it's also where you can go. The new Honda Passport. With standard dual airbags, and one powerful V6 engine. Hello there. My mom says a couple of ounces of antifreeze can kill our dog. Even two tablespoons can be bad for me. So we use an antifreeze that's safer for kids and pets. That's less harmful. My dad says any antifreeze can protect against freezing and rust. But is it less harmful for me and Jojo? That's what my dad cares about. What about yours? Sierra Antifreeze. Because safer is better. In Germany, there is no word for gonzo. No word for rad, righteous, or gnarly. And as far as we can tell, no word for whoa. There is, however, a car. Introducing the Audi A4, a stunning achievement in German engineering, and one wicked ride. Dude, the new A4, get ready for the ride of your life. Dockers Halftime is brought to you by Dockers Khakis, proud makers of nice pants. All right, and welcome back to Hollywood for the Dockers Halftime, along with Jimmy Howie and Terry. I'm James Brown, and let's take you around the league. San Francisco leading Indianapolis by just one, and Harbaugh gets uncorked early. Number one ranked quarter, uh, quarterback in the National Football League, throws one up, got a lot of pressure, should have eaten the ball. Hanks with the re interception return there. Young, Rice, touchdown, set, look at that. Not much to it. Now here's the scare of the day. As Young goes back, he's hit by Ray Buchanan on his left arm, leaves the game, but will return later on in the second quarter, JB. Yes, indeed, and he does try to come back and take a look here on a fourth and one. They get stopped. Indianapolis showing great defense, Terry. Aggressive coming in. Derek LaBelle can't get it over, and right now, 7-6, and six, and the 49ers will have to wake up at halftime if they want to beat the Colts. No question about a 20th consecutive game with the pass for... Steve Young, Rodney Pete doing the job. Go get him, Rodney. Head it off to Ricky Waters. What a running back tandem of Waters and Garner. Right now, right now, you just look at Waters, 66 yards in the first half. Hampton got a bad broken right hand. He's back playing his fourth fumble of the day. As you see, Zordic scoop it up, 
and he goes all the way down 58 yards for a touchdown. It's Philadelphia in the first half, 14 to six over the Giants. Hampton with no fumbles last year, four on the season thus far. Detroit and Green Bay, boy, the Packers all over top of the Lions. Scott Mitchell having a horrible day. Brett Favre has warmed up nicely. 15 of 19, 215 yards. Tampa Bay, get him there, Brett. Going to be the first club to rush for 1,000 yards in two consecutive years. Touchdown as Tampa Bay goes up. No believers in Tampa Bay yet. Better become one quickly. There's a pass by Moon, the reception, the fumble, Mayhew, where you been? Here I am, here we go, all the way down, it's Tampa Bay. I'll guarantee you there'll be no booing of the Buccaneers today as this defense records its 12th fumble recovery of the year, leads the National Football League. 14-6, Bucks over the Vikes at half, Dill for 9 of 15, Terry says he's not in shape, hadn't had to run, Bears, they wear that, J.B., but you certainly have pointed it out. As Burnell goes back and he hits James Stewart for the touchdown points to the heavenly skies, absolutely. And then here's your man, Kramer, over the middle, crossing route, greatest riding auto football, Curtis Conway in. Bears tie the game up at halftime, 10 off. Jacksonville looking to become the first expansion franchise ever to win three straight. Other scores are passing off. Buffalo nursing a three-point lead over the Seahawks. Have you seen a Seahawk kick a bill yet? Never have. All right, Kansas City 14 ahead of the Patriots. That at halftime, Neggett, a 16-yard touchdown run, his first of the season. As we come back inside to talk, my goodness, San Francisco and Indianapolis looks like two teams on emotional opposites. Yeah, JB, it looks like a lot of these visiting teams on the road are not ready to play, and the San Francisco 49ers definitely are not ready to play. They've lost a fumble, but they could have lost about three or four. The ball's going every which way. They're really out of sync offensively. Defensively, they've let Indianapolis move the football. They played pretty good in the red zone, holding the two field goals, but I tell you, most they're not ready to play. Yeah, San Francisco gave about 16 players off during the bye week. They don't look sharp right now. Steve Young injured rotator cuff. They are not picking up the DB blitz off his left side. Wallace has not seen the blitz twice now. All right, and we'll be sending the folks back out to watch the games that you were watching. Second half coming up. All of that and more right here as Fox NFL Sunday continues. We know what Melrose Place viewers want. Lust. Last night when he came over to my place, we were in bed. Hell ho! Way more than the best friend needs to know. Betrayal. No say I'm home! Jealousy. You always get the girl, and you know the only reason why. Because you've got the cool hair. Passion. Oh, it's late. That's probably my wife and her boyfriend. You'll find it all on Partners and Ned and Stacy. Get out of town! After Melrose Place, Monday on Fox. We'll return to Giant Stadium for the start of the second half after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. You're watching the NFL on Fox. It's the crime of the century when Springfield's founder loses his head. It's just a statue. Is a leaning tower of pizza just a statue? And there's a short list of suspects. I knew it all along! The Simpsons. Monday at 6 on Fox Philadelphia. Determination. Perspiration. Matt burns up the net. What, are you worried about losing to an amateur? Next, Baywatch. Monday at 5 on Fox Philadelphia. Every year, PNC Bank asks over 270,000 customers how we can do better. Here's what they said. Hey, give me account information around the clock. We did it. Put investment counselors in my neighborhood. We're here. Give me a really low interest credit card. You've got it. At PNC Bank, we never forget who really calls the shots. And that's you. What makes Ford Escort right for you? Anywhere you are. This reliable little car is affordable with 3-9 financing from your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Anywhere you go. Now you can choose between low 3-9 financing or 750 cash back. Anytime, anywhere, anywhere. 
That's low 3-9 financing or $750 cash back on any Escort, America's number one selling small car. But hurry, this offer ends soon. Ford is right for you. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer today. Jill becomes a matchmaker. Is he cute? Are you partners? Why do you always have to fix people up? Because maybe I want everybody to be as happy as we are. Monday at 7 on Fox Philadelphia. Welcome back to Giants Stadium where the Philadelphia Eagles are holding on to a halftime lead of 14 to 6 over the New York Giants. With Jerry Glanville, Kevin Harlan, some of your impressions on that first half. The defense of the Eagles is shutting out all the wide receivers. Brown, the quarterback for the Giants, has no place to throw the football. Then a defensive score is like 14 points. When you score on defense, and that's the difference in the football game. From a guy who rarely fumbles, Rodney Hampton. Watch Kurt Gavea, and here's eight in the box with the strong safety. And there's, watch, it hits the ball on a broken hand, carrying the ball with a broken hand. Kurt Gavea knocks the ball out of Hampton. And here comes Michael Zordich, Mr. Hustle, guy that all he loves to do is play football. Stay in bounds, don't watch out, be careful. And a defensive score is 14 points. Man. All right, down to the sideline we go, and here's Pam Oliver. All right, Kevin, I caught up with Dan Reeves in the, in the tunnel. I asked him, what kind of second half adjustments are you making? He looked at me like I was crazy. He said, well, that would imply that we did something in the first half. So what he's looking for for his team is to come out here, execute, do a better job, stop with the middle mistakes, and just try to do something. But he acknowledges that the Eagles are playing extremely well. Back to you guys. Pam, real quickly, can you stick on and tell us about an update on the wind? It was ferocious before the game. How is it here at halftime? It's really kind of died down, and with the sun coming out, it's, it's made things a little bit warmer. I've been in the tunnel, and it, it's not nearly as bad as it was to start the game. Thank you very much. Pam Oliver on our sideline for us as Gary Anderson tees the ball up for the Philadelphia Eagles, leading at halftime 14-6. to six. Special teams, everybody on the Eagles is watching the kick. They're all on the sideline. Terrible kick. It'll be taken by Brian Kozlowski. And he is up to about the 41. Where the Giants will begin things. First down and 10 yards to go. Kozlowski is a backup tight end. And through 30 minutes of play here in the Meadowlands, here, Jerry, are the first half numbers with the Eagles on top, 14 to 6. Turnovers, although they're one for one, one turnover is a direct result of picking up the ball and going the distance, scoring the touchdowns. And remember, a defensive score is like a 14-point turnaround. Giants begin the third quarter, first down and 10. Rodney Hampton sent up the middle, and he bangs his way to the 49. Boy, all kinds of people got a hold on, and finally, Kurt Gavea gets off of Hampton. He has a nice run up the middle. And that run, he had what's called a flat back. His body gets on a 45 lean. When he comes up through there, he will be not be running straight up down. Watch he, how he gets a flat back. Now he has the ball. He's straight up. And now, look at there. That pad under pad, low man wins. Hampton, who gained seven on first down, takes it on second and three and nears the 48-yard line where he has to get to. But he does get into Eagles territory. Ronnie Dixon makes the stop. And I like what the Giants are doing. Every day at halftime, they said, one thing we can do, we can go in there and smack the Eagles around with Rodney Hampton. Let's go after him. Let's hit him. In the last two plays, he flat-backed him on both times. Low man wins. Only guy could stop him on that was Kurt Gavea. Head on head. 18 yards away from tying Morris. 19 yards away is Rodney Hampton from becoming the all-time Giants rushing leader. We're talking about a lot of years, too, of a lot of running backs. Yeah, a lot of good players. Yeah. First it's the first down, yeah. That's the way to come back. I, I like the way they're starting the second half, but don't give up on that. Don't say, well, we did that. Let's screw up now. Let's stick with it. Let's find something we can hang a hat on. If you're a Giant fan, if you're an Eagle fan, they'll start building an eight-man front to stop that by bringing up the safeties. First down and 10 for Brown at the 48-yard line of Philadelphia. There's Zordy's walking up right now. Blitz is on. Hand off. Hampton, nothing. Ronnie Dixon again. The Eagles are well coached. They didn't like that slam ball, so up walks Zordish, in walks the linebacker who's going to blitz, and he's going to replace his responsibility. So there's still zone. 
And there's Kurt Gavea right in the backfield. He said, you got two long runs on us, five yards of crack. We're going to line up eight people in there. On second down and 10, Brown, pretty good time, but again, flushed from the pocket, and down he goes, and brought down by Kevin Johnson. Fourth sack today of giant quarterback Dave Brown. Why isn't the ball coming out? Why is he not throwing the football, getting away from these sacks? Because nobody's open. And I said that, I know you're thinking, well, somebody's got to be open. Nobody's been open. I'm up here at the 50-yard line. I got a better look than Brown does, but I'm seeing the same thing. Brown now will face third down and 11 with 12.53 and the clock ticking here in the third quarter. Once again in the shotgun, and once again he is deployed four wide receivers. Brown hit once, hit twice, sacked for a fifth time. Back at the 41. Stubbs hit him high. Harmon hit him low. And the Giants have got a punt. And they're real close to getting Mike Mamula off size again. He jerked and flinched, but he didn't penetrate. You'll see a little jerk, a little flinch here. But he, there it is. But he hung in there. Holding the ball. You cannot hold the ball. You can't read. You cannot read the commissioner's name. You got to bring it out of there. His name's on the ball. Just throw it. That snap again. Marisa almost blocked. It's away. But Horan with the punt. Calvin Martin takes it the other way. And Calvin Martin with the punter to beat Horan is tackled by Horan. At the 48-yard line, 47-yard line, a marker is down at the 45. That's a tackle by a punter with proper technique. You don't see that often. This is something. We got to get this. We got to get a copy of this and hang it in the Louvre. In the where? In the Louvre where they hang those good pictures. Yeah. You never see a punter. <laughs> Watch this. A punter's got his head Legal in front. Substitution on the kicking team. Watch this. Player did not come inside the numbers. Look at that. Off the sideline. Penalties declined. First down. Timeout. Haran can be hung in the Louvre for making a tackle as a punter with correct technique. The legendary Nürburgring. It sounds crazy, but they let anyone drive on this world-famous racetrack for just a few Deutschmarks. It was here that Porsche engineers tested our new 911 Turbo. Lap after lap of the new 400 horsepower engine, the twin turbos, the liquid all-wheel drive. What did we learn? Well, don't send a German engineer here with an ATM card. Salt, crunchy, salt. Why are the two biggest, baddest sinners on the planet arguing over tacos when they can have this? The new double-decker taco from Taco Bell. That's big. What do you think? Wait till they try this. Introducing the nacho cheese double-decker taco. All the double-decker taste you love, now smothered in nacho cheese sauce. Just 99 cents, only at Taco Bell. You guys are millionaires. Buy your own. Buy your own. And then, come on, and then, let's go, and then, and then, and then, fire the hills with all the greenery, we're proven the scenery with heavy machinery, we shut down our swords and put up our axes, and then, and then, and then, <sighs> then we relax as with a bush and a... <laughs> Fully brewed for mountains of real beer taste, non-alcohol bush and a... Get back to work! Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Porsche. There is no substitute. By MetLife. Get Met. It pays. And by Nike, who encourages you to participate in the lives of America's youth. Great view on top of Giant Stadium, and Randall Cunningham has come in to replace what we feel is an injury situation to Rodney Pete. So Randall Cunningham, who is the talk of a lot of trade possibility earlier this week with the deadline on Tuesday, is in the game and he hands off to Ricky Waters, who works his way for four just outside the Giant 45. Then C. Glenn makes the stop in the Giant secondary. Two tight ends. Remember, go back to the start of the game. If you got two tight ends in the game, here's a tight end, here's a tight end. A lineman is going to pull. A lineman is going to pull and lead up through the hole. Here comes Guy McIntyre, pulling that time, trying to get it open. 
Running in with the second down and six at the 46. Gives to Ricky Waters and Waters bulldozing his way to the 43. And this is exactly how they started the first half. Two tight ends pulling linemen and running Ricky Waters right up through this. So this is a carbon copy of that first drive where we think Rodney Pete got hurt on that first drive. We think that's why he's not out there. Our Pam Oliver is still chasing the story on the sideline. We should have it to you in the play or two as the Giants put in passing personnel. And the Giants will try to hold the Eagles, and the Eagles have not had a first down since two plays into the second quarter. Third down and three. Eagles lead it 14 to 6. Cunningham with time, with the throw. First down pass caught by Calvin Williams to the Giant 36. And nice throw. A lot of people wanted to give up on Randall Cunningham. I don't believe Rhodes ever gave up on him. He was looking for a spark when they weren't playing good. Cunningham is in, Pete is out, down to the sideline, and Pam Oliver. Well, Kevin, what we know is that Rodney Pete is a little woozy. It's not a concussion, but he's apparently just a little woozy from the number of hits that he's been taking today. Apparently, his return is questionable. Back to you. Thank you, Pam. First and 10 for the Eagles. Now at the 36 of the Giants. And off again to Ricky Waters. Waters breaks by one, then is finally brought down by Marcus Buckley, making his first start today in the National Football League. And here's Waters going away from the blocking back. This isn't done much. The blocking back's over here, so you think the place here, no way. He's running over this way, trying to give you misdirection. It's a good call. Good run after contact. Second down and six from the Giant 32 for Philadelphia, leading 14 to six. Cunningham with time. Here he goes. This is his most dangerous position. He's got the first down, and he's out of bounds at the 26-yard line of the New York Giants. Now for a McDonald's game break, let's go back to Hollywood, and here's James Brown. Kevin, Indianapolis playing fired up. Take a look. Jim Harbaugh dropping back. Watch the tight end drag across the middle. Bulls his way to heavy dirt. Indianapolis on top of San Fran, 12-7 in the third. Back to Kevin and Jerry. That's the rookie tight end, Dilger out of Illinois. He, the game we had with the was his first start, and they said they could get rid of his, his backup, the regular starter. They liked that tight end. Cunningham in for the injured Rodney Pete. First down and 10. Just outside the 25 and the handoff. Ricky Waters perusing the middle. Works to the 22, 23 yard line. On him is Hamilton. Also some help from Ray Agnew. We just saw the Colts on a replay. Remember me telling you about the Baltimore late. This was a this was named after the Colts and here's the ball. It's unusual. The fullback goes through and the halfback follows and that play was named after the Colts and that's called a Baltimore late. L-A-L-A-T-E. L-A-T-E. Second down and six down to 845 in the third quarter. Seventh play of the Randall Cunningham orchestrated drive and that play is blown dead before it's allowed to start. Ron Blum is our referee today here in Giant Stadium. What has become an absolutely perfect Part of the snap, 83 offense, false start, five yards, repeat second down. Perfect. Autumn afternoon. 83 is Ed West. This game is presented by authority of the NFL and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the expressed written consent of the New York Giants and the National Football League is prohibited. The penalty moves him back now. Second down and 11 yards to go with the resting at the 28-yard line of the Giants. Cunningham. Barnett incomplete. Good coverage by the Giants. Nice coverage. They came in with the nickel. And Tito. Tito can play. He's had a little bit of injury, but Tito Wooten is a man that can play. He'll come off to your left. You can't see him. He's on the slot. Throwing the slant. And look at Tito get his left hand right in there. Uh, right hand on the hip and left hand on the ball. Just the way you're supposed to do it. Future star for the Giants. Plays only in the nickel, plays in the long down, but I think sooner or later he's the guy that you got to play full time. It's third and 11 from the 28 yard line for the Eagles, up 14 to 6. Cunningham is in there. Cunningham throws him back of his receiver. 
That was Calvin Williams as Vincey Glenn was on the blitz and in the face of Cunningham. Vincey Glenn, here's their leader. Here's the guy that the Giants follow in his blitz and made Cunningham bring the ball out way before he won. He, they, he's lined up there. He's going to line up, and they're all going to come off the left, and he tries to throw the slant right where the – here he comes. There's Vincey, and they're all blitzing. Receiver was not ready. Vincey, Vincey Glenn, he's some, some, there's players and then there's playmakers, and Vincey Glenn is a playmaker. Well, if Anderson hits this, this will be his longest field goal of the season. Anderson tries to extend the Eagle lead, and he is short. The wind may have played with it, the kick not long enough, and the Giants escape the bullet again. 8.07 in the third quarter, Eagles 14, New York 6. Is there a defense that can stop me? Maybe not. Maybe if they had cars, they could stop me. Maybe not. Maybe if they had trucks. Maybe not. Maybe if they had helicopters. Helicopters and jets. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. German engineers could have road tested the new Porsche 911 Carrera 4 back home in Germany. They could have taken the 270 horsepower engine out on the Autobahn again, or driven the Black Forest with the all-wheel drive and radical suspension. They could have done all that back home. But then, they wouldn't have gotten all this neat stuff. No pain, no gain. If you want a new life with great sex, you come back with me to the gym. <laughs> that did not come out right. Misery loves company tonight. Giants have the ball, but starting quarterback Dave Brown is on the bench, and in his place, Tommy Maddox, who was drafted by Dan Reeves at Denver, then traded to the Rams for a fourth-round pick, waived this summer by St. Louis, and signed as Kent Graham was jettisoned and Maddox brought in and this will now fuel the fire a couple weeks ago there was possibly a quarterback controversy when Brown was starting but ineffective at 0 and 3 and Maddox was brought in now here it goes not throwing a pass or playing it down this season Tommy Maddox is in the game from the 35 and down 14 to 6 his first pass is a giant is caught Chris Calloway and it's a first down to the 49 yard line McMillan was on him in a gain of 13 yards. And he brought the ball out in a hurry. I think probably why the coach made the change. Dave Brown had nobody open, but he held the football, hung on to the ball, and that'll get you in trouble with the head coach. What Maddox did that time is he brought it out in a hurry. But Dave, Dave Brown wasn't the guy that wasn't getting open. I mean, I, I think you got to be careful what you do here. First down handoff. Hampton to the 48-yard line is where he tumbles to. Andy Harmon got him. Tommy Maddox left UCLA after his sophomore year. First-round pick and slated to back up John Elway, but he was making a lot of money. The third-string guy was not, and salary cap reasons prompted the trade to the Rams. And now he's in there. Somewhat surprisingly, I think we both thought. I think I am, because I thought what was happening is, is the receivers were not getting open, but he did hold on the ball, so this guy maybe will bring the ball out quicker. With the wind at his back, second down and seven. At the tight ends, and Hampton in the backfield, and Maddox going to the air for the second time. And he's hit once, hit twice, and brought down. Sacked for a sixth time by the Philadelphia Eagle defense. A season high back at the 49. And let me show you what's happening. This quarterback's going to get the same dose Dave Brown did. This is 22 man. He's going to walk up, play man. He Texas. He in a man, man to man with two safeties behind him. Watch who's open. Watch who gets open. Absolutely nobody. Everybody is smothered. So what do you do now? Pull this quarterback and go get another one? You're running out of options. 
<laughs> Third down and 10. Back at the Giant, 49. Under center is Maddox in place of the ineffective Dave Brown. Look at the time for Maddox. And he throws a pass short and wide and incomplete for Mike Sherrard. And the Giants have got a punt for a second consecutive time. Sherrard tried to run a deep out and was totally covered. And so then they just improvised. They're playing playground football, and that doesn't work. But again, nobody's open. There's no place to throw the football. So really count the Eagles coverage as opposed to the quarterbacking lows of the Giants. The, I'm very impressed that the Eagles are able to just to take everybody out of this game. Ryan will punt for a fourth time today with the wind at his back and a high rocket like kick. Martin will let it bounce inside the 10. The Giants will down it somewhere inside the 15. Kozlowski got a hand on it with a marker down at the Eagle 40 yard line. They mark it down, they say at the five. Nice punt by Haran. That wind helped him a lot. Illegal man downfield with the punt team. Special teams have hurt both teams today. Giants came into today two and four Eagles three up and three down having won two consecutive games. Well, what we probably haven't mentioned enough the Giants defense. They are doing an excellent job too ever since the first kicker quarter. was illegally downfield number 55 on the kick five yard penalty repeat fourth down. Special teams coach Pete DeCamillis. It's the first special teams penalty today. So march it back so. The Giants had him pinned back at the five. Cunningham would have been stranded back there. Now they got to do the whole thing over. You can tell the wind. Look at the special teams coach. Look at his hair. Look at the wind blowing around down there. And from the MetLife blimp, you get a view of the top of Giant Stadium, although that sometimes is not very indicative of what actually is going on field level. A lot of people look at the flags at the top and they say down at the field, the wind will be going directly opposite of what the flags are going at the top. So Haran will try it again with 608 remaining in the third no, quarter. And no split ends on the punt team. I've never seen this out here. There's no detached people from the floor. This is new. Getting plenty of time. The punt is as high. Will it be as long? Bounce again. Takes another great giant bounce. This should be just as good as the first. Maybe better. And it's exactly where the first one was. Jason Seahorn down it. So Mike Haran does his job. Now let's see if the giant defense can do theirs. Trailing 14 to 6. He said he wants more control. Oh, boy. Told me he's looking for faster response and more security. And he's leaving the firm? No. He's getting a Cadillac DeVille. Now DeVille is better than ever because now it has the North Star system and its extraordinary combination of comfort, safety, security, and performance. Nothing else feels like DeVille from Cadillac. I suppose he'll want a better parking space, too. Trying to get on top of your financial situation is getting tougher and tougher. What you need is someone with experience and know-how. MetLife can help you get a grip on things and help you make sense of it all. Get Met. It pays. Oh, I can't wait to tell you the news. You know all that seafood you love at Red Lobster? Well, we've just lowered our prices. Our new menu has 15 dinners under $10, like our shrimp sampler, just $8.99. With sizzling scampi, roasted shrimp, fried shrimp, plus bread and salad, just $8.99. How's everything? Delicious. You know, with our delicious seafood and 15 dinners under $10, you're going to love Red Lobster even more. See you soon. Mike Horan, the giant punter, just pinned the Eagles back at their six. This is what's unusual. These people, 99% of the time, are split wide. The only time you're bunched in like this is when you're punting inside your five-yard line. So something was going on that the Giants call a tight punt formation. I haven't seen that since the sixth grade picnic, and they all got bunched in there, but they did get... I don't know why. I wish I could tell you why. Must have been some kind of picnic. Wow. And now the chance coming down from the stands of Randall. 
Randall trying to undo the new Eagle quarterback Randall Cunningham new in the second half his second time he's been out there today in a handoff Ricky Waters hardly a thing available off the pile they take off Mike Kroll and Randall Cunningham 32 years old and 3.1 million dollars Jerry some people think that may have been part of the reason why they couldn't have traded him because his cap was so high his number value was so high what's happened in pro football is you can price yourself out of working and then because of the cap a lot of times you're making too much money for people to touch you now that's not the case with you or me We're, the, the money won't hurt us for the first time in, I'm in total agreement second down pitch waters to the 14 Ray Agnew was there that's the first toss pitch we've seen today I thought we'd see that with the Giants with uh, with Tyrone Wheatley because the way he can run uh, but a play we're not seeing and unusual to toss it when you're down inside your own 10 yard line got to be sure it's a good pitch or that ball come out of there waters had 139 yards last week in the win over Washington now a third and two for Cunningham Pete is on the sideline and we have been told injured shoulder and elbow third down. Ricky Waters stood up by Kroll and brought down by Hamilton and the Giants defense which has really played a good game today stops Philadelphia again and Vincey Glenn the team leader the guy everybody follows there's only one bit he got up on the line of scrimmage and they knew it was a run the Giants are reading somebody's mail they they all lined up here's the third down and here's here's your safety here's everybody they're all going to walk up watch him and slant down inside two linebackers in the hole what a nice job they're playing good defense now Hutton has got a punt in the shadow of his own goalpost and deep back the Giants have Arthur Marshall good punt and dies in the wind Marshall's going to get the Giants good field position and maybe more as the marker goes down and Marshall is inside the Eagle 35 I saw the clip a clip by the Giants accidentally pushed the guy in the back something they cannot withstand right now that was a 12 yard return and into the wind Hutton banged that one 34 yards 14 to 6 Eagles lead on a touchdown run by Waters and a fumble recovery racing 58 yards Michael Zordich. 344 remaining here in the third quarter during the return number 98 on the return team illegal block in the back 10 yards first down timeout that's Jesse Armstead who intercepted a pass last week and gave the Giants a win against Arizona and he pushes him right there a little push in the back nonetheless Giants get great starting field position Just a glance, it happened. Love came looking for me. Get out of my way! <laughs> Dockers, flat front khakis. Tonight, jumping G, who's the fan? I'm a hunk. Al Bundy's got a hot new look. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. On a brand new Married with Children tonight on Fox. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Cadillac and your Cadillac dealer, creating a higher standard. 
Today, the MetLife blimp Snoopy One is cruising the skies above East Rutherford, New Jersey. The MetLife blimp contains 70,000 cubic feet of helium. It measures almost 50 yards in length from nose to tail. With Jerry Glanville and Pam Oliver, Kevin Harlan, Giants Stadium, 14-6. The Eagles, Giants, new quarterback, Maddox, in a play action on first and ten. He looks and he is intercepted, picked off by William Thomas. His second interception of the season, the second turnover today by the Giants, and the Eagles defense again comes up big. I don't want to keep repeating myself, Kevin, but absolutely nobody's open. You can't throw to the tight end breaking this tight end this is a, he's going to clear it out he's going to come down and break out this linebacker is going to play high school football come right back in here and he's got it good coverage by the the uh, linebacker so another turnover for the Giants who needed an air free game to beat Philadelphia today they've already turned it over twice Working to be the best. Teammates, sponsored by the U.S. Army. Now's the chance for us to stop him in a clock. Led by Sean Gilbert, the Rams' torrid turnover rate has made them the new monsters of the Midwest. Their defensive front seven make the surprising St. Louis Rams the best they can be. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Hi. From this day forward, you will be the most important part of the toughest, strongest, smartest army in the world. You will be a soldier. Where else can you be all this and earn this? $30,000 for college. Bucky and Vinny here reviewing Subway Steak and Cheese Sandwich at the home of the Steak and Cheese Philadelphia. Steak and Cheese, please. So what do we think? This is the real McCoy. Tender, juicy steak with loads of real melted cheese. We have a winner. Subway, what a sandwich. From across the seas, Bex, the number one imported German beer. Joe Pesci and Academy Award winner Marissa Tomei. You stick out like a sore thumb around here. Oh, yeah, you blend. In My Cousin Vinny, Tuesday at 8, 7 Central. Giants have a 14 to 6 lead, 338 remaining in the third quarter. They just picked off Tommy Maddox. Philadelphia did now from their 43, first down and 10. Play action by Cunningham, belt as he, as he throws, and the pass is intercepted by Filippi Sparks. His first interception of the season. And Cunningham replacing the injured Rodney Pete has just been picked off by Sparks. And Felipe ran the curl better than the receiver. You're going to see him get up underneath, and he's running a better route than the receiver. Here he is right here. They're going to come down and run the curl, and he's going to jump right inside of it. Back pedal, back pedal. Now watch him drive. Watch him drive. Oh, is that good looking. Watch him come in underneath. Nice play, Felipe. Turnovers even at two apiece today. Giants will try to capitalize down 14 to six late in the third quarter. And the handoff goes to Rodney Hampton. He bangs his way to the 48. And on the play, picks up five. Mike Mamula was there to stop him as Cunningham just threw the pick. Eagles had great beginning field position, too, so that's washed away, and here comes New York. And we were talking about New York's defense. That's four. They went three and out of four times, three and out, and that time, one play and out. So don't overlook what the giant defense is doing. They're playing excellent football. Dave Brown is out. Maddox is in for no other reason than just being ineffective today. Second down and five. Giants outside the 47. Off play handoff. Holding with that broken hand is Rodney Hampton to the 49 and picks up a yard and a half on the play. As we pick up James Brown in Hollywood with this update. James? Hey, Kevin. Derek Lavelle quietly comparable numbers to Ricky Waters last year. Here he takes the handoff from Steve Young. 49ers alive. Back on top by two. Under five in the third. Back to Kevin and Jerry. 
Good game there. Good game here. Giants and Eagles both have changed quarterbacks in the second half. It's third and four for New York. They're at their own 49 yard line. Janet has already thrown an interception today. Four man line comes charging. Mamua got a eighth. Interception picked off by William Thomas. Thomas with Walker on him. Gets by Cross, and Thomas runs out of bounds at the New York Giant 32 yard line. Mamula hit Maddox. And William Thomas gets his third interception of the season, his second today. Maddox is picked off for a second time in two Giant possessions. And Mamula eats up Jumbo Elliott, eats him up. He's not looking at the ball. They got him back in the three point and he's coming full speed rip up underneath and shakes the hip of the quarterback. Nobody's open. He just getting pulled down as he's trying to throw but nobody was open anyway. Let's see what Philadelphia does with the Cunningham was intercepted last time he threw the ball he keeps it on the ground and Ricky Waters digs his way to the 27 Brooks and Harris were there for the giant defense the giant defense is in another tough situation and they've played excellent ever since the second quarter but you can't keep giving the ball up with the pitchfork sticking in your back the pitchforks are the goalpost. You got those pitchforks sticking you as you go in there. You got a tough time. Uh, the Devils are across the parking lot, Coach, <laughs> if you're looking for hockey. <laughs> Second down and five. Then and a half remaining in the third quarter. The handoff goes to Ricky Waters, and that time he plows into Ray Agnew and a gain to the 25, a meager two yards. Strand finally yanked him down. And Jesse Armstead's come in there, Kevin, playing the uh, little linebacker position. Putting the guy into that made the big play last week. Maybe hoping they can get another big play off of him. Green Bay with the lead over Detroit. Robert Brooks who replaces Sterling Sharp with the touchdown catch there. Lions were down 20 nothing, so they've come back just a bit. Here it is third down and four from the 26 for the Philadelphia Eagles. Leading 14 to six. Cunningham in the pocket. Here comes the rush being chased by Coleman Rudolph. Cunningham first down and slides to the 16 yard line. Eagles will move the chains. The defense played man to man everywhere with two free safeties. So if the quarterback gets away, our rule was never play 22 man on a scrambling quarterback. And that's why if he breaks, there's nobody around in zone, there's nobody looking for him. This doesn't show you the coverage. Everybody in coverage, you saw the guy go by, has their back towards the line of scrimmage. They cannot see that he's running. Eagles trying to cash in on the interception. They're at the 17 of New York. They've got a first and 10 to hand off to Charlie Gardner, who is met initially by Strahan, bounces off him, and it's finally wrestled out of bounds by Thomas Rudolph. I see a couple flags, and it may have been a face mask and they're going to get Jesse Campbell for uh, hitting in the white the safety for the Giants came up and he popped him good didn't realize once your feet get where it's all painted white in the white is the white paint if you hit a guy in there the flags coming one of those flags is Jesse Campbell hitting in the white right at the end of the play also could have been a face mask on the offense as well as I thought so. stiff arm about I thought so too one second remains here in the third quarter Eagles up on a touchdown fumble recovery and a touchdown run by Ricky Waters. Giants with a couple field goals, both of 21 yards from Brad DeLuiso. Let's go back to Randall Cunningham. He's a running quarterback. The way you stop a running quarterback, you either blitz him or you play zone underneath. But to play 22 man is asking for him to scramble. Five yard face mask, 92 defense, penalties declined. Late hit, personal foul, 37 defense. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Strahan had the face mask, and Jesse Campbell had the big time penalty. Jesse was running up, trying to stop the play. Here's 37 right here. Well, you there, called it, coach. There it is. See, see that white? You can't hit him there. No. Once the feet get in the white, there's got to be a machine in your head that says stop. Stop, you're in the white. Don't hit. That machine malfunctioned. Well, it's the end of the third quarter with the score. Eagles 14, Giants 6 will return to Giants Stadium after these messages from your local Fox station. Miller Lite presents Tyson as he fights live, and it's free on Fox. 
life rarely imitates orange cones. Orange cones, however, can be made to imitate life. At Lexus, we've created a suspension system so advanced, it's smooth when you want it to be, unresponsive when you need it to be. The 1996 LS400. Impossible. The laws of Lexus state otherwise. You think in color. Your computer thinks in color. So how come everything you print comes out black and white? Black and white. The Epson Stylus color printers, starting at 349 for the kind of brilliant color that will let your ideas be heard. You've got to see it in Epson color. Plymouth Neon Coupe with a Zippy 2-liter 16-valve engine. Ride tune suspension. A 5-speed tranny and 132 wild ponies. It's a pretty hot little number. Plymouth Neon Coupe. Just $99.95. See your neighborly Chrysler and Plymouth dealers for the official cars of the Philadelphia Eagles. Laugh your week off with Seinfeld. Six nights a week on Fox Philadelphia. Next week, Fox NFL Sunday kicks off with a battle for first place in the NFC Western Division as the San Francisco 49ers take on the St. Louis Rams plus other exciting regional action. Jerry and I will be in Washington. It all begins at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Check local listings for the game and time in your area. With Jerry Glanville, this is Kevin Harlan, Pam Oliver on the sideline, first and goal from the 10, and Charlie Garner, like a torpedo, submarines to the six and a gain of four, met by Agnew and Michael Brooks. Now watch the Eagles. They're going in with a lead blocker. First man in has got to make, he's got to splatter somebody as he rolls on through there. That's McCrary, 41, Jerry. Look at that. Don't let the back go in there without a lead man in front of you. That's a rookie leading the way. Nice job, Fred McQuarrie. <laughs> Eagles not too bad capitalizing on the opposition's mistakes. Second down goal, ball at the seven. Cunningham fumbled by Waters, who leads the league in that category. And it's recovered by the New York Giants. They get the ball. Marcus Buckley in his first NFL start has just broken the heart of Eagle coach Ray Rhodes. And Guy McIntyre, the guard, got in the confusion. They're pulling a guard, and he got in the, in the confusion and banged everybody. Watch this guard pull along with the handoff, and you can see everybody's messed up. They bang, he's bumping into him. Oh, the ball's on it. You've got to make that play. Do you know what we've done the last four possessions here? Interception. Giants interception Philadelphia interception Giants fumble Philadelphia wow and Ricky Waters a bit upset on the sideline Randall Cunningham has been in for two series and he has had two turnovers which quarterback do the Giants come back with Kevin Tommy Maddox from the 12 first down and 10 Giants are still breathing heavy but they're breathing and walking to the 13th, Kurt Gavea, the stop. We are in the fourth, and about a minute gone. Kurt Gavea, as he played, here's a guy from Hawaii, was a, was, a, was a player of the year on the island in high school as a quarterback. And Jerry, they've got him replacing Byron Evans, who, you know, had that horrible accident last year. A couple busted knees, a broken leg, and Gavea comes in from the Redskins, unrestricted free agent, leads the team in tackle. Native, uh, native of Hawaii said he grew up eating poi with two fingers. He was a two-finger dipper on the point. A two-finger dipper, second down and ten. Screen pass. Hampton, the block. Bishop, the gain to about the 15. William Thomas closed it in a hurry. A screen. When you're in a screen, Kurt Cavea, we're just talking about him. You got to play plays in open space with hands. Protect your leg. Watch him play all hands. Don't let anybody hit your pad on a space play. Space means an open field. Now I'm in the open field. I got to play hands. Look, look at him, hands. Hands, skate, skate, get to the ball. I am very impressed with William Thomas. Hampton is out of the game. He was holding his broken right hand as he walked off. 
Third down and eight. Maddox is in the gun from the 15 yard line. Giants trailing 14 to six. Good time for Maddox. The throw. It's in it all. It was knocked away at the last second. Howard Cross got a hand on it. I don't know if he was playing defensive back or if he was trying to go for the ball, but Mark McMillan just about had the pick. We're in the fourth quarter here. Let's go back to Hollywood. Here's the McDonald's game break, and here's James Brown. All right, Kevin, San Diego has lost two straight. Key to their hopes today, the injured shoulder, the status of, of Stan Humphreys. They'll be taking on the Dallas Cowboys. That'll be coming up in the second half of our doubleheader. Most of you will see that game, Dallas at San Diego. Back to Kevin and Jerry. Thank you, James. Here's Haran punting from inside his five, and the wind will be in his face and doesn't go anyplace. Calvin Martin from midfield and with the blocker ahead, tumbles to the 46-yard line. So a return of about four yards after the 35-yard punt of Haran. It's easy to see why Ford has had five of the ten top-selling vehicles in America for six straight years. Because when you look into a Ford, you'll find innovation, attention to detail, and exceptional value. Qualities that have made Ford F-Series America's best-selling truck for 18 straight years, and once again made Taurus America's best-selling car. With this kind of success, the next thing you see when you look into a Ford might just be yourself. Fourth and inches, Coach Bannon, he likes to punt. Huh? No way. No! Check this out. Attention, Coach Bannon. Bannon. Go, for, go it. for it. Be a man. Oh, what do you know, Steve? They're going to go for it. Just a reminder, when you've got the great taste of an ice cold Miller Lite, life is good. Do you like my new hat? <laughs> Kozak drops back to pass. Jones is open in the end zone. Throws it to Jones to drop yeah. the ball. Bad call. Do the punting. Yep. Presenting the ultimate tire for your sport utility vehicle, the Michelin LTX. Michelin's technological advances in sidewall and tread design give it a smoother, quieter ride than you might ever expect from a 4x4 tire. Yet it's rugged enough, tough enough, Michelin enough to get you through anything. The LTX series from Michelin. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by the all-new Ford Taurus, a look you've never seen from a name you know well. By Wendy's Spicy Chicken Sandwich, get it while it's hot. By Magnavox, we make technology people want. Magnavox, smart, very smart. And by Miller Lite, when you've got the great taste of an ice-cold Miller Lite, life is good. Beautiful view of Central Park on a Sunday afternoon here in Gotham City. 14 to 6, Eagles on top, 12 and a half remaining in the game. Randall Cunningham is in once again. Each time he's been in there in the second half, they've turned it over. There's a play action, first and 10, right on the money this time to tight end Ed West and a first down to the 29, a 16 yard pickup by the former Packer and Indianapolis Colt. And that was a bootleg. That's not the West Coast. That was an old fashioned bootleg. And find the old tight end, find Ed West. And he'll catch the ball. Toolbox was Toolbox. his nickname yeah. that Brett Favre gave him up in Green yeah, Bay. He said he'd sweep up everything. We like the old toolbox. Playing in a tight end position, which has been a disaster for the Eagles this year. As Ricky Waters is stood up by Keith Hamilton. Coming into this season, the Eagles, Jerry, had signed a kid from Green Bay named Reggie Johnson, spending a lot of money on him. He was a flop in the preseason, and really not since Keith Jackson went to Miami in 92 has this team had a quality tight end in fact the four tight ends they brought to training camp are all gone they had to get Ed West off the waiver wire from Indianapolis well they got the right one yes because I believe Ed West can play he can block he's got old knees and you got to ice him down when it's over but he's a football player second out of nine for Cunningham and he's throw to Ed West again this time a little low and incomplete low and hot you can't hand that that short a pass. You got to take a little bit off that ball. Ed West, the toolbox, the tight end, had a good year with the Packers. And I think Ed West will help 
Ricky Waters. I noticed in the game when Ricky Waters got mad at somebody missing the block, Ed West went over and told him to shut up. And I think an old veteran like that can make Waters a better player. Eagles now go with four wide receivers. Third down and nine. They're inside the 30 of New York. Three down. Penalty against the Giants and an incomplete pass. Well, they were coming to Cunningham, weren't they? Yeah, they, he made him jump off sides. I wonder after the last pass by the Giants quarterback, Maddox's last pass should have been intercepted like the previous two. Do you come back with Dave Brown? Bring Dave Brown back in the game, or do you do you hang on and put Maddox back in there after almost question. offside? 91 defense, five yards, repeat third down. That's a good question. You, you, last three passes he throws should be picked off. So whatever happens here, do you come back with your other quarterback? 11 penalties in the game, seven against New York. Giants, 45 yards in penalty yardage. Philadelphia, four for 20. This will be third and a long four for Randall Cunningham. Stationed at the 24 of the Giants. And Cunningham got a block, escapes, has to get to the 19. And Cunningham to the 21, shy of the first down. So it's fourth and about a yard, maybe a yard and a half. All right, why couldn't he scramble? The Giants did a good job. Remember the last time we said they were manned underneath? This time it's all zone. The corners are going to wait out in the flat. Everybody's looking at the quarterback this time rather than the last time when they played that 22 man. Look at the court. Everybody's sitting in there. That's what you got to play against a quarterback that'll run. Well, Gary Anderson, who earlier missed a 45-yard field goal, will be trying a 40-yarder here. His season long is 43. The former Pittsburgh Steeler on the hold by the punter Hutton, and it is good. So the Eagles capitalize on pretty good field position. Now go up 17 to 6 on the New York Giants. <laughs> Wendy's presents Hot Player of the Week. Texas Stadium was on fire last Sunday thanks to Troy Aikman. The Cowboys field general lit up the Packer defense with his precision passing attack. Aikman threw for 316 yards and two touchdowns as the Cowboys won their fifth game of the season. Deep drop for Aikman, steps up, going for the bomb, Michael Irvin wide open, touchdown Cowboys! Oh! Troy Aikman, the hot player of the week. Welcome, Dave. It's been a long time. It sure has, Red. You got a spicy chicken sandwich, but here, Try this. Not bad. Water? No, thanks. Ooh. Now try a Wendy's spicy chicken. Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich is a whole breast fillet seasoned with Dave's own blend of pepper and spices. It's one very delicious, very spicy sandwich. Please. <laughs> try Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich and long live the king. My daughter used to think fish just came from the supermarket. You know, my son used to wait for rainbows, but now we go looking for them. I know they learn all about the world in school, but now we can show it to them. Isn't it amazing how opening one door can open up so many others? Ford Explorer, because the world's too big to be left unexplored. The battle has just begun. Missile incoming. We're locked on, let's rock and roll. And the stakes have never been higher. Space Above and Beyond, a brand new episode tonight. Space Above and Beyond, a very good... This ball didn't have much space to get through. Marcus Buckley's going to break clean here, and Agnew, that you judge a defense by how hard they pressure field goals. Watch the spirit of this team. Watch out close. Look at those two just missed blocking that field goal, and you judge the spirit. What's inside this giant defense? Don't ever question it when they rush field goals like that. Anderson with the wind at his back with a nice kickoff, driving Walker into the end zone and out of the end zone. Anderson has not had a lot of touchbacks this season. That's his third all year, one of the lowest in the NFL. What a second half this has been for the New York Giants. They've changed quarterbacks, and the new quarterback has thrown two picks. Should have thrown three. That last one was going to be picked off, too. Now, do you bring back Dave Brown, or do you stay with Maddox? I'd have to come back with Dave Brown, but that's why I'm announcing, and those other guys are still coaching. <laughs> I'd have everybody riled up on this one. Jerry, the Giants had to go airless into the game. They've made many errors. Many errors. They have not gotten helped in his 25 carries either. 
If you got Maddox in, the, in there, you got to run the football. You sure you're not going to make a living throwing it. On the 21st and 10, little play action to Hampton from Maddox, and the pass is low and almost uncatchable as it was aimed at Mike Sherrard. Incomplete pass. Wobble, wobble, wobble. That was an ugly throw. The natives are going to get restless in this stadium. Sounds like a Sesame Street song <laughs> or something. <laughs> Watch the throw. We look for a tight spiral. We look for somebody that can RPM the ball, and that's not it. Put some juice on it. There's no juice on that, baby. Dave Brown yanked because of ineffective play, we've been told. Well, one thing there that bothered me, Dave Brown's gone to the Cape. He went to the hat for two series, and now he's gone to the Cape in the hat. Look Second at that down throw. at 10, and Maddox is again short, and an uncatchable pass aimed at Sherrard. Dave Brown has to get the Cape off, Put his helmet on and go stand next to the head coach. Don't be mad. Take the cape off. Act like you can come back and win it for us. Don't put the cape on. I would turn around if I saw the cape. I'd be mad. So. And he's got that hat covering that hair. Yeah, he needs a he needs a new haircut. He's going to try to get him a Pat Riley, get it moosed up a little bit. But he needs now to get his job back. And you do that by getting the cape off. Put the helmet on. Go stand next to that man and make 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 the coach make me move. Stand right there. Just keep pushing me. I'm over here, coach. Maddox is two of eight, two interceptions since we placing Brown. Here's a third down and ten pass high, and again an uncatchable pass for Aaron Pierce. They got a punt, three and out. Well, that time you're talking 0 for three for good spirals. You're talking about nothing there looks good, and and Maddox probably didn't get a lot of practice time. He's probably running the enemy's. Uh, uh, card team, but the bottom line is it's up to Dave Brown to take the cape off, put the helmet on, and bug the head coach. Every time Dan Reeves turns around, I'd make him look at my face if I was Dave. He had to, he had to stare at me every play. So for the eighth consecutive time, the Giants do not convert a third down, and this punt by Horan is inside the 40-yard line. That's a punt of 40 yards by Mike Horan, and a marker is down. With 9.58 remaining in the game. Seems like neither team wants this game, Jerry. I think both defenses are playing excellent. I think both defensive people are playing, and the offenses cannot crack either defense. 34 on the kicking team. Downfield too soon. Five yards. Repeat fourth down. That's Herschel Walker, who in his 10th year still plays special teams for the New York Giants. And he's, he's the fullback. He's the guy that calls the block and does a lot of good things in there. Giants coming into today two and four of their record. They had won two of their last three games. The Eagles were three up and three down entering today. They have gone two and zero oh in the NFC East, and a Philadelphia victory today, Jerry, is very big in terms of what it does to the division. It just about takes the Giants out of anything other than playing the season, not trying to get yourself better. But I don't believe uh, Maddox is ready to play. He's looked bad. That's uh, there's no two ways around. No, you, you, I mean, you got to be. Uh, your mama told you to be kind, but she told you to be honest too. Horan punting again. This time Martin will lose it in the wind and then get out of the way, and then it is finally downed by the Giants. Tito Wooten he plays in the secondary, and so the Eagles will get it back. Randall Cunningham takes his Philadelphia ball club back on. six bucks. Harry. Yeah? How come you're charging me for the hot dogs? Get it! The 52-inch Magnavox big screen TV with smart screen and a picture so good you can charge for the hot dogs. <laughs> smart. Very smart. Now get a pair of wireless speakers free when you purchase a Magnavox big screen TV. Presenting the ultimate tire for your 4x4. The Michelin LTX. Michelin technology gives it a smooth, quiet ride. Yet it's tough enough, Michelin enough, to get you through anything. Okay, now don't get Grandma too excited. She has been running on the same Duracell battery since the Ice Age. Ah! Wow, those Duracell batteries sure do last. You can't top the copper top. It's easy to see why Ford has had five of the ten top-selling vehicles in America for six straight years. Because when you look into a Ford, you'll find innovation, attention to detail, and exceptional value. 
qualities that have made Ford F-Series America's best-selling truck for 18 straight years and once again made Taurus America's best-selling car. With this kind of success, the next thing you see when you look into a Ford might just be yourself. Springfield gets a visit from Paul McCartney. Linda and I both feel strongly about animal rights. Don't have a cow, man. On an all-new Simpsons, tonight at 8, 7 Central. A thousand light years from Earth, the battle has just begun, and it's more dangerous than you could ever imagine. From the producers of The X-Files, catch a brand new episode of Space Above and Beyond, a terrific new show, tonight at 7, 6 Central, right here on the Fox Television Network. With Jerry Glanville and Pam Oliver, Kevin Harlan, Giant Stadium, 9.46 left in the game, first and 10. Eagles have a 17-6 lead. Cunningham airing it out and incomplete, looking downfield for Fred Barnett. Lippy Sparks stride for stride with the Eagle receiver. And Jesse Campbell, the other safety back in there, helping him out on the post route. Had no chance of completing that one. Second down and 10. Rodney Pete has been taken out. We have been told now the wooziness was part of the concern. As the handoff, there's a big concern to the Giants because Ricky Waters slashes his way and mingles to the 44-yard line. Jesse Armstead brought him down, but Rodney Pete has been taken out because the coach just wanted to change, Jerry, wanted to change a pace. He's trying to spark him. I think the Giants are playing such good defense. I don't think it's the quarterback's fault. Waters, now, he's got to not only run over the Giants, he's got to run over this official. Watch him now. He's wondering, have they got 12 guys out there? Look at the official. Oh, my gosh. Vincey Glenn tried to push him out of the way, and the referee got right back in. I wouldn't mess with Vincey Glenn. He'll knock out that official. Third down and four for the Eagles. We're down to nine minutes remaining in the game. Cunningham. First down pass, Rob Carpenter, who makes his third reception of the season and his first reception in the last two and a half games. When you see the man walk in man to man and put the end outside, then it's all man to man. They're back to playing because it's less than four yards. It's all man to man coverage. So there's a lot of reading going on. In a lot of reading. Whenever you see the, the giant get up over the tight end and kick the end outside, it's a pretty good bet it's going to be man to man. And when you're less than four yards, you got you can't play zone. They catch it, turn around, they got for you. Gotta play man, so the down and distance forces you to do that. Ricky Waters over 100 yards today, 101, his second consecutive 100 yard game at 139 last week against the Washington Redskins. Well, the way the quarterbacks are throwing, you gotta run the football today. Well, these are two of the better running teams in the NFL, both in the top 10. Handoff. Waters drags a defender by midfield to the 49. We're down to eight and a half to play. He dragged to Stacy Dillard. Well, the Dallas Cowboys, fresh off their nice win over the Green Bay Packers last week, will take on the Chargers, who lost on Monday night, close in overtime to Kansas City. It'll be a good one. The Cowboys at Jack Murphy against San Diego. Except in the New York City audience, you will see that game. Under eight to play now, second down and six. Eagles 17, Giants six. Cunningham replacing Rodney P. Cunningham to Waters. To the 46, gain of three. Ray Agnew around him. And this is what may characterize the Eagles the rest of the way, running the football, running down the clock. And they move the whole line. On that running play, if you're watching the back, you miss the play. The whole group moved. And that's and, and the Giants have been playing good defense, but they got they got Agnew moved a little bit and they got Strahan moving a little bit. Well, we at Fox Sports delighted to be joined for today's game by our friends at Sky Sport in Great Britain. Fox NFL is indeed going global. Thank you, folks, for watching us today here in New York. Third and three for Cunningham. Hit and brought down. Stacy Diller got him. He had to get to the 43 for the first down, and they mark him inside the 44. That may not be enough for a first down, but I think they will indeed take the measurement. And good defense by the Giants. The Giants and the Eagles. Watch Strahan, 92, the defensive end. Got to pressure the quarterback. A rip. See him get underneath. He's ripping and pressuring and flushing him. 
in punt formation. Well, a pretty important punt coming up for Tom Hutton and a pretty important series coming up for the New York Giants. Hutton punting for a fifth time now, and Arthur Marshall is back at the 10. The end is at the back of the punt. If you're the Giants head coach, Kevin, you've just been in the point. I know you want to be a general manager, but I'm making you head coach. Which quarterback are you coming back with? Well, if you've got a rejuvenated Dave Brown, that may be an idea. Delay a game called against the Eagles. They've done that on purpose to give Hutton the punter a little extra room to get that ball, wedge that ball inside the 20. Now the but you, you would go back with Brown. I'd go back to Brown. I don't think uh, Tommy Maddox probably had enough practice. And after looking at those last three, four passes, I'd come back with Brown. But Brown's got to go. He's got to go down there and bother the coach. They're playing a punt safe. They're playing for a fake. The Giants have a punt safe on. Well, they need two scores, the Giants do. Hutton with a heavy rush put on, gets off a booming punt, which will go into the end zone. It will be touchback. Widmer almost got a hand on it, but a 50-yard putt by Tom Hutton. Will we see Dave Brown? That picture there tells us probably not. Ford introduces the all-new Taurus. For those who see life as a journey and want to enjoy the ride. Its speed-sensitive steering and responsive new suspension help you take new roads with confidence. While the powerful new 24-valve Duratec engine can go up to 100,000 miles between recommended tune-ups which means you can go as far as your dreams. The all-new Ford Taurus. Should a man be judged by what he wears? Are you really any less of a man because you don't wear the right shirt or pants? Should you have to wear a shirt or pants at all? Ask yourself, hasn't our society advanced to the point where a man can feel comfortable in a dress? Oh, uh, probably not. Always appropriate 100% cotton pants that are soft and wrinkle-free. Hager, stuff you can wear. Eagles on top of the Giants. They've been on top of them all day long. Defensively for the Giants, what they've been averaging in the season, what they've allowed today, just two field goals by New York. And you can see they've only allowed 189 yards total, but on the ground, the rushing for the Giants today, just 77 yards. And as a footnote to that, the Eagles over the last three years have been progressively better in allowing, or not allowing, I should say not allowing, High yards per game. First down and ten. Walker in the backfield. The Walker is a receiver. Hampton's in the backfield, and Walker was being thrown to, and it was knocked down on the line by Daniel Stubbs. Boy, Jerry again. He has played a good game what for the game. Philadelphia Eagles. Here's a backup. He's in there because William Fuller's injured. They, they didn't want to get William re-injured, so they kept him out because they have a bye week next week, and he may not get his job back. Watch gets off the ground and swats the ball got leg cut got knocked down by cross the tight end and got up and swatted the ball second down and 10 for Tommy Maddox who has not hit a receiver in his last five passes hit once there but escapes and throws to Hampton who like he did at the goal line in the first half has dropped his second pass of the day has that soft cast on his right hand now there's a guy that's got to go by the head coach he's got to go over and stand right next to Rees and make He's got to say, this coach, head coach, got to look at me every down. Every time they throw a ball, he's got to look at me and see I'm standing here. Take the cape off. Get your helmet on. At the conclusion of today's game, Jerry and I will select the Miller Lite player of the game. He's walking towards the coach. He's heading in the right direction. Maybe he is. Get over there. Get over there and bug the coach. Giants have missed their last eight consecutive third down conversions. Three of 12 today. They've got third and 10. And here's a delay of game against Maddox and the Giants. Now I call the timeout. Call the timeout. He made it. So two timeouts remaining now for the Giants. Maddox will take the long stroll to see Dan Reeves down 17 to 6. 
Well, how'd they do that? Pennzoil introduces Performax 100. 100% synthetic at a breakthrough price. 100% synthetic at a price this low? How'd they do that? Leave it to Pennzoil to make synthetic affordable. <laughs> how'd they do that? Hey, there's more. An extra $6 rebate on a case. Or $6 off on an oil change by the pros. <laughs> how'd they do that? Engine problems? Before you try a tune-up, try gum out first. The solution could be less than $5. Well, if you're bored with Saturday Night Live, Fox presents a brand new late night show that brings something back to Saturday Night Laughs. Catch an all new Mad TV. Late Night Saturday here on the Fox Television Network. Jerry, we watched that last night and really, well, we laughed, is what we did. I'm surprised they haven't asked you to be in that series. Well, well they have asked me to be in that series. <laughs> Third and ten for the Giants. Maddox is conferred with the sideline, trailing 17 to six. Maddox got a block, and he's almost picked off for a third time today. And the rookie Bobby Taylor just about had the pick. And oh. nine, Jerry, nine consecutive third down conversions missed by New York. That's enough for Maddox. Now watch Bobby Taylor, the rookie <laughs> corner. He's going to watch the quarterback. Keep his just a little soft back pill. Nobody can drive. Now drive the route, and the. That should be five interceptions behind this. Oh, wow. Giants in the second half. Oh, the quarterback's ducking before he threw the ball. You can't do that. Seven possessions, five punts, two interceptions. Should have been four interceptions. And it goes to Calvin Martin on the Haran punt, and he works his way to the 48 yard line. That is a punt of 37 yards and a return of eight yards. Now the Giant defense is back in on their side, the 50, and you got to take your hat off to the Giant defense playing this well. They've been on, on their side of the field the whole ball game, and they just keep rearing up and fighting them. Got a lot of things in this game. Huh? Both starting quarterbacks out of the game, the backups put in. Some good defense by the Giants, all kinds of turnovers. Good defense by the Eagles. Good defense by Philadelphia, absolutely. I don't know if the Giants have had anybody open other than on a bootleg. Well, they haven't had a first down since early in the third quarter. Just two in this half. Eagles with it and the lead. First down and 10 from the 49. Ricky Waters over 100 yards today. Works his way to the 47-yard line. Keith Hamilton made the first stop. With Guy McIntyre pulling, remember, with two tight ends in the game, here comes the guard, and you try to follow Guy McIntyre and turn up through there. How much yards does he have now? Well, he's over, well over 100 yards. Ricky Waters on the afternoon, 100 and nine is what I calculate. Today, the MetLife blimp is cruising the skies above East Rutherford, New Jersey, powered by twin engines that are capable of reaching speeds greater than 57 miles an hour. Snoopy One can navigate at altitudes in excess of 6,000 feet. Giants have called the timeout. They've got one remaining. Philadelphia has their full allotment of timeouts. As Dan Reeves ponders on the sideline, his team looking at a two and five record and into a bye week and the Eagles and Ray Rhodes looking at four and three before the bye week with St. Louis and Dallas on the slate after next week and an unbeaten three and oh record in the NFC East. You like this guy in the interview this coach Rhodes didn't you. Hard nose. We both like them all. Yeah. Hard nose tough guy. If he can just get that permeating feeling into his special teams if we can just get Brown back into the game we'll have a heck of a ball game. Doesn't look like he's getting ready to get in the game there. Now that's he's got to go he's got to go pester Reeves. Second down a nine handoff and a Ricky Waters slant as he puts his forearm up and just knocks Jesse Campbell head over heels in a nice game to the 41 yard line. And Felipe Sparks got, was playing around there a little bit he looked like he's going to argue but they both laughed about it a little bit. <laughs> But the low man wins. Here's a flat back. You got to get your pads down over you and get your pads under the man hitting you. And that's just what he did to Jesse. Hello, Jesse. Flat back. You just don't want to be flat on your back. He flattened him, didn't he? Third down and two for Randall Cunningham at the giant 41 yard line. And a career high 28th carry by Ricky Waters. To the 40 and shy of the first down, Mike Kroll got up in there and made the stop. That's Ricky Waters. Joe Panos is pulling, trying to lead around the corner, but they give Ricky Waters the option if there's a hole where the guard pulled, duck up in there. Giants have just burned their final timeout. 
Well, today's game was produced by Jeff Gowan, directed by Andy Kindle. Jeff and Andy, thank you so much. A great job. And all of our cameramen, too, with an outstanding view of this great rivalry between the Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. Pre-game show is produced today by Scott Ackerson, directed by Bob Levy. The executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gorn and David Hill. Statistics today by the ubiquitous Pat McGrath, who's every place it seems, and assisted by Barry Strump. Barry and Pat, thank you. Jimmy Stamos was our spotter today. Broadcast associate, Bo Garrett. And special thanks to our AD today, Larry Lancaster. After an off week, the Eagles, if they go to four and three, will be at Vet Stadium against the Rams and that'll be a great game in a couple weeks by the way the Rams will play San Francisco next week on the Eagles by on the 22nd then a Monday night date in Dallas they're rushing the punt they're trying to block the punt Giants going after the putter Hutton will punt once again Arthur Marshall is at the 10 stationed for the New York Giants we're down to four they got it and they blocked the punt that's a touchdown nice picked up and it will be a touchdown run on in by Omar Douglas. Elias the block 41 yard return by Omar Douglas who last week returned a kick and touched the ball for the first time in his NFL career but not a bigger play as the young second year player out of Minnesota come across than the block punt which makes it a 17 to 12 game and credit the special teams coach for the Giants he had him on the sideline he was pumping them all up to go get it and it and he's going to come right up the middle through here he never gets the ball off I don't believe the ball ever hit his foot he's there so quick look at that Keith Elias out of Princeton now remember if you touch the ball all bets are off with the punter don't think that's roughing the kicker or the punter if you touch the ball you can cream the kicker or the punter go for two the Giants will go for two Maddox at the quarterback he'll send Pierce in motion handoff Hampton dives and they got the two points and it is a three point game with 445 to play Omar Douglas retrieves the Keith Elias block punt and Pete DeCamillis has got to be happy because the special teams have brought it that much closer for New York and look at this special teams coach we just had him on the screen here's a guy he was that way before they blocked the punt you should have seen him he was pumping them up and I gotta love that guy he was getting them ready this is our chance to win the game is go ahead and block that punt watch him how they get there he's there so quick he has no chance to get it off Look at him. Now you can run into him because you hit the ball. You can do anything you want to. All bets are off if you hit the ball before you hit the kicker or the punter. There were only four block punts in the NFL a season ago. That was number five this year, followed by the Hampton two-point conversion run. Up and over. Now the crowd's getting back into it. So just when you want to nail shut the Giants... Here comes special teams. Special teams with the big play. Exactly what did we what say before say. the game starts? Special teams is going to kill the Eagles. They got to get it fixed. Jerry, they have not called that a block punt. They have called that a fumble. You said it didn't even hit his foot. Never hit his foot, so it can't be a block punt. Good call by the. But who, who makes that decision? Somebody here in the stadium? I think we should just stick with you. You saw it before anybody else. Oh boy, I knew they had it. <laughs> and I love the special teams, coach for the Giants he was over there diagramming in the dirt well, here's the Deloiso kickoff it is a chip shot short of Calvin Martin and out of bounds so they'll go to the 35 as the flag is thrown We're down to 441 remaining in the fourth quarter and they come back with a terrible kickoff Deloiso ball is placed 30 yards from the spot of the kick first down receivers now he, he's there so soon that he actually hits it with his knee he actually blocks Watch him right here. There's the ball right there on his knee. Can you stop it right and he, there? And not, he kicked his knee. He kicked him. He, and that's something. The that's, punter kicked his knee. That's why it's not a block punt. <laughs> you called it. And here come the Eagles at the 40-yard line. Where it's first down and 10. 17-14 Philadelphia. 
Cunningham remains the quarterback. Rod Carpenter is 81. And the handoff up the middle, Ricky Waters. A lot of guys had a hand on that tackle, but off the pile, Ray Agnew along with Michael Brooks. Good gang tackling. You can't let him carry in this situation. If you're a Giant fan, you got to stop him. If you're an Eagle fan, keep your legs turning. Speaking of stopping, the Giants cannot stop the clock. They are out of timeouts. The Eagles have their full three remaining. And they come back to haunt the New York Giants. But they had to save the clock because they were down so far. I think they were calling timeouts at the right time. Second down and six for Randall Cunningham. We're now four minutes left in the game. Ricky Waters again. They send him up the middle, and he picks up a yard and a half. Jesse Campbell met him head on. Now they got to throw. Now you got Randall Cunningham. Now this is a this is five yards. This is tough. You got your chance to play zone or man. If you zone it, the guy maybe run after the catch. If you man it, they get a big play. So this is a tough call for the Giants, whether it be zone or to be man. Remember, if you're 22 man, the quarterback can run. Woo! We got a lot of things going on here. They got a 22 zone because this quarterback can I run, I can believe. Here we go. Third down and five from the 45. Cunningham throws, and it's knocked away. Great defensive play by Tito Wooten looking for Rob Carpenter, and the Eagles have got a punt. But this should come as no surprise, Jerry, because the Giant defense has played a great game today. And you got to talk. That's three times Tito has stopped the conversion. Tito Wooten has stopped it three times. It can't be any bigger play. He's got to line up and play more than on a nickel. He's going to be a football player. Coach Reeves says this guy's got a real future. The future's today. Now, come after the next punt. Don't assume they know anything. Block the next one. See if you can break it loose again. Oh, they got him worried. Looks like a block coming again. Hutton will punt inside his 35. Arthur Marshall back inside the 20. The punt is away, and it's a good one. It'll go over Marshall's head and go into the end zone for the touchdown. So the Giants watch a Hutton punt of 55 yards. We're at 302 right now, 17-14. Philadelphia leading by three. Maddox will be sent in by Dan Reeves. And they'll begin it at the 20. The Eagles coming into today, right in back of Dallas, having won two consecutive games with Rodney Pete, but they made the switch almost inexplicably, and they go with Randall Cunningham in the second half. The Giants began 0-3. They have now won two of their last three. They yanked Dave Brown. They put in Tommy Maddox, who has come off the bench and thrown two interceptions. And do they come that quick with Cunningham because the trade date is over? Now they are. They, they're going to be there all year. This what, is your guy. What are you saying? I'm saying this is a week ago. I don't know if he comes in that quick. I'm saying because there's no trading, all trades are off, you come on and start playing your whole team again. Just throwing that at you. I like it. I like to think about it. 302 remaining in regulation. The Eagles on top 17 to 14. On the shotgun with Walker and Wade at his side is Tommy Maddox. And the handoff to Walker. The block by Bishop. There goes Walker. Flag is thrown. Walker is out of bounds near the 25. Bobby Taylor was the one chasing him to the sideline. You got 257 left. You got Maddox who hasn't thrown a good pass. You got to try to run the ball. You, you got some problems here if you're a Giant fan. You got to go the length of the field. You got to go 80 yards. And now you got to deal with another five yard penalty of holding. This is suicide. Holding. Number 30 offense. 10 yards. Repeat first down. 10 yard penalty. Ninth penalty against the Giants today. And what Dan Reeves has told us had to be an errorless game. And the penalties have mounted up against the Giants today. Anything over seven, coach, is probably something you can't tolerate. And Dan. Is coaching as hard as he can coach, and you know he's frustrated because he didn't picture this happening. Penalty pushes it back to the 10, where it is first and 20 for Maddox. They'll roll out of the pocket, have an escort and given time, throws the pass, and it is caught at the 20 by Arthur Marshall. Incomplete pass. It's waved off from the near side. Incomplete pass. 250 remaining. It'll be second and long. This is a dash. He's trying to roll away from the pressure and then throw all the way back. He's got the man open. It's low. Well, it looked like he scooped it up there. 
I didn't see it hit the ground there but uh, the officials are right there. Let's see if we can see it. Yep it hit the ground went right through his hands. Good call by the officials. Second down and 20 for Tommy Maddox again in the gun. Maddox with the end good time throws and the pass is caught by Chris Callaway. He's at the 23 had to get to the 30 for a first down as Maddox throws his first completion in nine consecutive passes. There was a turn in curl and it had RPMs. The ball looked better. Clock is down to two and a half minutes. Eagles on top by three. Maddox with the third down and a completion for a first down to Chris Callaway at the 33. 220 left clock ticking. Giants are out of timeouts. Get on the line. They're walking up. Come on, you gotta hustle if you're on offense. They're walking around. First down for Maddox. Packet crumbles. The throw is high and dropped by Arthur Marshall. Stops the clock with 202. It'll be second down for Maddox and the Giants. And William Thomas, 51, is playing left end now over Doug Riesenberg. And he is getting there quickly. In fact, he's leaving a little bit early. And he's got two interceptions today, too. You better get somebody to help because he's the guy that's going to get there. Second down and 10 for Tommy Maddox, who replaced the ineffective Dave Brown. From his own 34 yard line, a field goal will tie it for New York. Maddox moves up well, now being chased by Ronnie Dixon. He has to get to the 44, and he stops the clock, running out of bounds at the 38. That'll be the two minute warning with 1.56 remaining in the game. So can Maddox, put in by Dan Reeves, pull it out for New York? Picture yourself behind the wheel of one of Budget Car and Truck Rental's world-class vehicles. Now imagine it's yours to keep. Presenting the Budget $1 million Car Drive-Away, where every time you rent, you'll receive valuable budget savings or win one of a million dollars worth of brand new cars. It's all part of our renewed commitment to satisfy your every need. For details or reservations, call your travel consultant or budget today. You're my agent. You have to do something about this. My face is on the cup with a duck. Well, I'm allergic to ducks. But what about Bugs Bunny? He's cool. What? Emmett Smith has Bugs? He's just a running back. Now at McDonald's, get a free Looney Plays to go cup when you supersize any extra value meal. The NFL's Emmett Smith with Bugs, Barry Sanders with Taz, Bledsoe with Wiley, and Marino with Daffy on new to go cups. How'd I get on the McDonald's cup with Marino? I'm an agent. I'm allergic to dolphins. Have you had your break today? Its roomy interior can accommodate 3,000 comfortably. It boasts advanced safety features, ergonomically designed control panels, and a superior ventilation system for cleaner air. Announcing Ford Motor Company's state-of-the-art assembly plants. All the enhancements we made for the people in here may be appreciated most by the people in here. Ford. Quality is job one. Eagles jumped off to a nice lead and a Waters eight yard touchdown run a fumble recovery Zordich 58 yards for the TD but since then only a field goal Philadelphia holding on to a 17 14 lead the Giants got a fumble on a punt and Omar Douglas ran it on in if you're coaching in your living room you tell the Eagles now the 35 yard line is the goal line because you don't want to tie it up don't let anybody inside the 35 if you're if you're coaching with these uh, Giants the screen's the thing. You're not getting protection. You're not throwing the ball good. How about a screen? Screen's a good call in this situation. From the 38-yard line, third down and six for Tommy Maddox. In the pocket, going long as the receiver, but he underthrows him on the sideline. Derek Frazier was covering Arthur Marshall. It's an incompletion. And at no time is he open. You don't throw. Watch the coverage right here. He'll roll over. It's man to man. At no time is he open. Hit Frazier in the back of the leg. He got his head turned around right in time. At no time do you throw it. If you're having these problems, the screen is still a good catch on. Fourth down and six. And coming up, all except New York, the Dallas Cowboys and the San Diego Chargers. Fourth down and six. This is the game for the Giants. They have no timeouts. They've got to get to the 44. 
And a throw, they blow it dead. I was going to say a free down. They blow it dead. An incompletion. And Sylvester Wright, who is activated off the practice squad this week, young kid out of Kansas, may have jumped. And Bobby Taylor was all over Chris Callaway. Nobody's open. Nothing's changed. That we changed the quarter. 52 defense. Five yards. Repeat fourth down. That's the sixth time Philadelphia has been called offside. Fourth down, having a hard time throwing the football. They may run on this one. It's fourth in just a little bit. One note to make mention here. They're into the wind, so if Daloisa does get even within his range, it'll be a tough kick. And for Tommy Maddox, any throw into the wind is going to be very tough to complete. You got less than a yard with the way Tommy Maddox has thrown it. I'd, I'd say that you'll you'll know if the quarterback gets under the center. When he gets under the center, the run is there. If he was shotgun, it would be pass. Eagles by three, fourth and one. Got to get to the 44. The handoff to Walker, the former Eagle, who carries a defender for the first down. They'll move the chains. We're down to 142 in the clock ticking with no clock. giant timeouts. Clock play. Clock play. Throw it on the ground. Get it on the ground. Maddox will spike it. Clock stopped at 135. All right. The they, Giants trail by three. They told you it was going to be a run. He got up underneath. Once he got up underneath, it's a run play. And the Eagles are running the blitz. That's a nice job of carrying people when you're running with the football by Herschel Walker. Well, the Eagles got some new running backs. They jettisoned Walker. Walker picked up immediately by George Young and the Giants. Second down and 10. Maddox will put it up to his second receiver, and he's hit by William Thomas. Incomplete pass. Third down. Thomas has been everywhere, intercepting passes, rushing the quarterback, making tackles. He may be our Miller Lite player of the game. Right now, I'd have to say he's got all the votes. He's getting off the ball quicker than anybody. And beating Riesenberg. Beating Riesenberg, rolling inside. He can run. There he is. Now his hand right on the ball. Giants have been absolutely miserable on third down conversions today. Four of 15. It's third and 10 for Maddox. No timeouts. Minute and a half remaining in regulation. Maddox again, the throw, the completion. Walker has to get to the 44, and he gets to the 46. Mark Woodard makes the stop, and even more importantly, Jerry, he did not get out of bounds. Good cleanup, good tackling by, by the, uh, the Eagles. Defense came up and kept him out. Here's a tough call. Here's a run situation or a pass. Quarterback's underneath. Fourth down, three to go. Maddox has to get to the 44. He's got the first down to the 43, Sherrard. We're down to 102, 101 remaining in the game. Clock play, and Doug Riesenberg did a great block that time on William Thomas to make that work. Clock play. They'll spike it and stop it at 53 seconds with the Giants trailing by three. Tell me again now where you think DeLuiso can hit for the Giants and where the Eagles need to think of as the goal line. The Eagles have to say the goal line's the 35-yard line. Anything inside the 35 can tie the game. Right here, we got win, so maybe like the 32, you got to say, that's it. You can't let them get inside of here. Inside of here could tie the game. That's the goal line for the Eagles. Stop them. Stop them before they get the 35 if you're an Eagle. Big drive orchestrated by Maddox. 13th play of the drive. First and 10. Rolls out of the pocket. Buys himself some time. Here comes the rush, and he is thrown another interception. This time, Michael Zordich. The third interception today thrown by Maddox. The fourth turnover by the Giants, and the Eagles will come out of Giants Stadium with a win today and go unbeaten in the NFC East. Zordich, William Thomas, Kurt Gavea, you can't play any better than those three played on defense today. This is a dash to get away from the rush. He's going to run all the way to the right. Went and there's Zordy's just dropping in the zone and he's trying to throw back after the dash across the grain across the grain Eagles defense today has been spectacular there's Zordy standing at the line he's dropping for the zone he's not going with the quarterback running away from him he's staying in his hook so the Eagles will drop to a knee 
And our Miller Lite player of the game from the Eagles, Michael Zordich. He picked up a fumble right, of Rodney job, Hampton, man. raced 58 yards for the touchdown. And right there, Jerry, we talked to him yesterday. He comes up with a huge interception, which gives the Eagles their third consecutive win, a 4-3 and three record, and a 3-0 and oh unblemished mark in the NFC Eastern Division. What a great job he's done. Here's a guy that was so upset that he missed a game in his career. There's Dan Reeves, hard fought, could not get wide receivers open, could not get people open to throw the ball to him. The Giants will drop to two and five. They've got a bye week. They'll play at Washington and at Seattle, and for Tommy Maddox, a very difficult day. Replacing Dave Brown because Reeves, at least as our read up here is, was ineffective. And Michael Zordich picking off the third of three Tommy Maddox interceptions. And a hand uh, there from Bobby Taylor, the rookie, but the veteran Zordich. He used to play for the Jets, an unrestricted free agent, joining the Eagles in 1994. Comes up big for the coach, Ray Rhodes. And now for Jerry Glanville and Pam Oliver. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long from Giants Stadium where the final score, the Eagles 17, the Giants 14. Coming up next, except for New York City, it's the second half of our Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader. You'll see either the Cowboys take on the Chargers or the Redskins battle the Cardinals. You're watching Fox Sports coverage of the National Football League. Good afternoon from the Meadowlands.